Hello everyone, I'm Bishy Dove, and today we are going to be playing more Lost Judgment. <laughs> more and more and more. So we're not close to being done yet, but hopefully someday. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And Archer, welcome in everybody. I love your shirt. Hi Bishy. Yeah, so this is, uh, I remember a while back I talked about getting this dress from a certain store um because i couldn't resist that it had a dragon on it that kind of reminded me of kiddie's dragon um so this is the dress uh i'm wearing it as a shirt though and it it works <laughs> it just looks like a tank top so yeah anyway i just felt like uh wearing something without sleeves because it's too hot but yes it's a dress stand no i'm not wearing it as a dress i'm wearing pajama pants <laughs> that don't match it whatsoever <laughs> And it's just scrunched up so it can be a shirt. <laughs> I posted a picture um, of the dress like on a hanger a while back in the Discord, but I haven't like taken a picture of me wearing it as a dress because I don't really love how I look in just as a dress. So it's a very long shirt. Yeah, <laughs> just a very long shirt. I guess I could like, oh God. I could like put it over <laughs> the things y'all make me do. But see, my pajama pants are really baggy too. So <laughs> my figure will just be woo. <laughs> but not necessarily me. It's my pants. <laughs> They're really baggy. Ruvo was even commenting on it. They were like, why does your like hips look so big? It's because of my pants. I can stand up for y'all. I can. Just keep in mind, it's gonna look a little weird. Look a little weird. I'm wearing my Sailor Moon pants. <laughs> it's gonna look so weird. Hey, Coddle. Yeah, but see, this is like the, the whole dragon. Oh my god. Okay, look, these are my pants. I'm wearing Sailor Moon pants. And it's like... It goes all the way down. See? It's like right above the knee is how long the the dress is. But I'm wearing it like this. Yeah. Anyway, I know I look <laughs> completely random. Um, but I don't dress, you know, to impress, except for the waist up <laughs> when I'm streaming, alright. You can imagine anything I'm wearing is just comfy pajamas or sweats, even if I'm wearing a dress shirt. Because <laughs> I like to be comfortable on stream. All right, so. <laughs> uh, I think most streamers do that, though, and I think that they should. I don't see a reason why I should wear, like, jeans or anything when I'm sitting in a chair playing a video game and hanging out with y'all. You know what I mean, so. Anyways, now you know my deepest, darkest secrets. But it's fine. <laughs> we love you no matter what you look like. OMG, what the f- <laughs> It didn't look as bad as I thought it would, because you can't really see, but I was imagining a bunch of like lumps from the pants. You couldn't really see. So. Anyway, above the knee makes it a combat ready dress. Yes, especially when you're also wearing pants. This just in, streamer wears pajama pants. Yeah, I feel like all of us do that. Unless you're like the type of person that likes to dress up all the time and like wear dresses or skirts or or wear like cool pants, you know, whatever. Like, I think it just depends on, you know, how someone dresses day to day. I like to be comfortable, so. Anyway, <laughs> Lex, thanks so much for resubscribing for 16 months. I got my stars back. Uh, Rubo's made me some stars. Anyway, today we're not playing that game. We're playing Lost Judgment. So let's switch over. Get some work done here. This is this is some serious work. All right. <laughs> Been playing this game for months. We got work to do. But uh, we are doing side cases today. So let me figure out where we left off. Let me open up a little walkthrough. I should have had this open. I'm sorry. Lost Judgment. Side case walkthrough. I think it had bookmarked. Maybe. Let's see. 
outside cases. Oh, here we go. We were in the middle of a, yeah, dastardly detective. So we're on this next one here. Do do. So we are on which number here? We're on number six. All right, here we go. So what we do is we go to Buzz Researcher and we look up noise and that takes us to the next place. So this one's near the high school. So let's go. And also for anybody that, oh wait, it's right here. There we go. For anybody that wasn't here during the, you know, few moments that I mentioned it, um, last week I finished the third trial in Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, and I very badly want to get into the fourth trial, but I'm kind of taking a short break from Ace Attorney, not because I'm done with Ace Attorney or tired of it whatsoever, um, but mostly because we have so much left to do in Lost Judgment, and I've been playing this for a, a while already. I did take two months off streaming, which contributed to that as well, though. Um, but anyway, I feel like I'm ready to finish Lost Judgment and not just play it once a week anymore. So after this week, I am planning on playing it most of the time. I'm going to be playing Kirby tomorrow because I, I can't not play that game. Uh, we're going to be playing Kirby's Dream Buffet. It comes out tomorrow. And then I have PS Plus and Bugsnax just got released on it and I've been wanting to play it since it came out. So I'm playing Bugsnax. So once I'm done with Bugsnax, I'm basically just going to be playing Lost Judgment all the time. Um, until I get really close to being done, of course. Um, or once I finish. We have so much left to do. Um, I really thought it would be a little bit more doable. But yeah, once a week is not enough time. At least twice a week. But I'm, I'm basically just going to play Lost Judgment from now on. Um, after this week or once I'm done with bug snacks. So yeah, we have these. There's a good chunk here. And then there's a chunk down here. So it's not like, you know, I'm at 36 out of 54. So I'm like, you know, a little past halfway. So it's not impossibly, you know, a huge amount of content. But I also have the school mystery research club that's not done yet because it has to be daytime for me to progress. So I have to do a little bit of plot for that in order to make it daytime. Um, and then I have the girlfriends, which technically, I mean, I could skip it, but I just thought it would be fun to do that too. I, I really want to get the most out of this game. So even though we're at like 105 hours right now, <laughs> there is a lot more left to do. So anyway, um, that's why I'm going to be not playing Ace Attorney, but I, I'm bringing it back as soon as I'm done with Lost Judgment or almost done. So don't think I'm going to abandon Ace Attorney. I still have the rest of Trials and Tribulations, and then I have um, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So there's a lot more Ace Attorney coming to the channel, but um, for now, I gotta finish Lost Judgment. It's been too long, so yeah. I, I'm i ready now to, to finish it, so, but I don't want to like just go to the ending and then not finish the game. You know what I mean? Like I still want to do all the side content, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of fun with it. But anyway, um, was I supposed to go in the school? Or was it supposed to be not? Maybe I need to pull out the thing. Oh, okay. I think I'm fine. Let's do this. I got back into SWB2. What is that? While I still love the game, I'm bummed EA canceled all the updates. Uh, smaller game modes anymore, but still fun. Huh. The last side case, yeah. At least I'm like pretty much halfway done. I don't know if I'm going the right way here. I go this way and then it like stops. And again, it's just a one. Okay, it's like over there. Is it in there? Oh, 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 there it is. Is it in here? Maybe it's in there. Let me find this real quick. Could even be like up somewhere. Oh, 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 see, I think it's in here. 
bingo. Oh, the vending machine. Found a spy cam in the vending machine. Oh, okay. I knew it was inside here. Let's see. Lots of side cases as well as high school stories. I mean, most of the stories are done. Um, it's really just the MRC at this point. It's gonna be weird not having any Yakuza or Judgment until Yakuza 8. It, it is, but I know Yakuza 8 will come out eventually, so. <laughs> this week is all little guys, yeah. <laughs> And Lost Judgment. I thought that my uh, schedule announcement was so funny because it's like serious Yagami face and then Kirby, bug snacks. <laughs> but that's just me as a person. I love all kinds of games, you know? I was not kidding when I said this game was thick. Yeah, very, very thick. Just realized Yakuza released on PS Plus. Now I can get all my friends into Yakuza. Yes, yes. Yeah, they just came out like today, I think. Going back to bug sex right now, after I finish Genshin. Nice. Mm -hmm. How's it been a year? Yeah, this came out in September, so almost a year. My goal is hopefully to finish it before it's been out a whole year. <laughs> it's a loose goal. I don't have to, but... Oh, Battlefront. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront. I... Yeah, I didn't know much about the game. Okay, let me, let me get through this just because of the beeping. But why? Better come back when more people are here so I can ask around. Yes, yes, I get it. I get the beeping. Um, more people are around? Oh no, do I have to wait till daytime for this too? <gasps> Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I might have to do plot soon just to, you know, <laughs> change the time of day. Uh, let's see. Is that how it's gonna be? Let me check. There's other side cases I could do. I could skip these for now. I'm basically doing as much as I can at night until I have to change it to daytime. I didn't even start the next one. He did say wait until there's more people around, right? Oh no. I think so. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Well, I found it, but I think I'm gonna have to come back. Let me let me see what the walkthrough says. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Or, but I mean, there, it says that there's other ones to look for. So let's keep looking around. Maybe it's fine. Maybe he was just saying something. Sometimes he just says things, you know. Oh, see, there's a... Or is it the same one? Is it the same one again? Better come back when more people are here so I can ask around. Yeah, that makes me think it needs to be daytime, but let me see if I can find the other one. Just to see if we have to skip it or not. So this one, it said it is gonna be over here. So let me at least look around for it. I feel like this one's leading me to the same one again, but maybe not. Oh no, I don't think so. The outlet? Bingo, spy cam, but why? Okay, so I found that one. I'm just gonna have to look up where they all are so I can just find them, but I think it has to be daytime. There's a lot, there's a lot. I bet if it's daytime, like, the kids will tell you, I thought I saw something weird in this area, too. So, I wonder if I should just leave it for later. But maybe if I find them all, I can keep going. Okay. It's fine. At this point, we're gonna use a walkthrough. <laughs> At this, this long end of the playthrough, I'm gonna have some help, so. Yeah. Uh, off topic, but I felt like expressing this worry. Uh, I'm low key- oh, sorry. I forgot the hat was there. I am low key sad because I'll be starting animation school this Thursday and it means I won't have time to hang with y'all except Tuesdays. I really have fun in these. I already miss y'all. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Archer. I mean, that sounds really exciting. Um, and, you know, I always say that stuff like that comes first, you know, life events, school, work, you know, focus on that. Uh, it's your life. And uh, we'll always be here, you know, Tuesday to Friday, having streams and playing games and stuff whenever you have time to pop in, you know? Um, so don't worry about it. Uh, anytime you're able to pop in, I'll appreciate it. 
but uh don't feel bad about it you know but i i do understand um i i appreciate your your sentiments and uh not wanting to miss stuff but don't feel bad yeah by the way not saying it to make fishy feel bad for taking their time i understand life happens and have to prioritize that I have a friend who hasn't finished it either, but not bugging them because life is life. Yes, yeah. So, you know, there's lots of reasons why I'm still playing this a year later. Um, but I think I've taken longer playing this than Yakuza 7. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I also put more time into Yakuza 7. I played it like, you know, twice a week sometimes, stuff like that, which I haven't done with Lost Judgment. I need to do this. Okay. Honestly, Bishy's playing this game correctly because they won't have to wait long till the next game, hopefully. Yeah, you know, you know, like if I finished it the month it came out, I would be so sad. <laughs> I'd be so sad without any Yakuza content whatsoever. Okay, let me find the next one. So, um, are you going into animation, Archer? You want to be an animator or do you want to just work in like animation and have like a different kind of title or something? Over here? Uh, that's great you're starting animation school uh, too though hope you have a good time pretty excited to be honest nervous but uh, right now I'm focusing on the time I'll have to put into it instead of my uh, little communities sometimes when you need to pick up the pace you gotta pull up the walkthrough <laughs> right I'm like you know what at this point <laughs> just let me cheat <laughs> just let me get through this like this one I think is over here it is green. Yeah, okay, this one's over here. Bingo. There we go. Someone's coming from the locker. Maybe if I find them all, I can just keep going. Okay, let's see, next one. Oh my god. Okay, the next one's far. Come on, Yagami, pick up the pace! We got a game to finish, Buster. I think this is the right way. <laughs> little flourish somewhere where Bingo. oh in the box see there's people here okay we got a camera there's a spy came in the dance club I got it What's going on, Yagami-san? Nishizono, do you lock up the club room when the rabbits aren't using it? Yeah, just to be safe. Who in the club has a key? Eto. Just me and Maria. I doubt anyone in the dance club installed a camera in here. Does that mean someone broke in? Um, is something wrong? Well, the thing is... <laughs> what? A spy cam? Don't tell the others just yet, alright? I don't want them getting upset, at least not until I find whoever installed it. Yeah, that's creepy. Ugh. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? When we had practice the other morning, I was too lazy to go all the way to the locker room, so I changed in here. Oh no. I was the first one here and no one else was around, so... Oh. Well, uh, sorry to hear that. Does this mean I'm damaged goods? Oh girl, no. Hey, we can still stop this. Let's not go overboard here. Th th there's nothing wrong with you. This is some Yagami creepy asshole. Yagami-san, you find that creep and you give him one for me, got it? I sure will. I sure will. I'll, in fact, I'll give him two! I'll give him three, maybe! So, I guess that's something that's supposed to happen with all of the spy cams. Someone nearby is supposed to react, so... I might have to wait on this one, but... Let me try to get the rest and we'll see what happens. So this one is going to be... Okay, this one is in the MRC. So let's go over there. And then if nothing happens, I'll know that we have to continue this some other time. Um, and we can move on to another side case. And I think MRC is... Oh god. Is it down here? Yes. Okay. I 
I should know this school like the back of my hand with 105 hours put into the game, but you know? <laughs> we all make mistakes. Okay. Over here. Where can I even go in this room? I go like this way? You can barely move in here. Okay, it's reacting like right there. Let me focus. There should be one in this room. But it really isn't acting like there is. It said it would be high up, that's why I keep looking at the ceiling. But it's not reacting like it should. Okay. It's like over here somewhere? I mean, it's at one bar, so I feel like, uh... <laughs> Let me just look up specifically where it is. Because I don't think it's reacting like it's supposed to. Ah, I think maybe it's not here. Um, maybe because I haven't reacted to the other ones yet, but it's supposed to be literally like right around here and it's not reacting. So I think I have to leave the detective side cases until it's daytime yet again. Um, and we'll just move on to the other ones, unfortunately. Um, and maybe next time I stream, we'll do a tiny bit of plot, but not going for the ending. Just like enough plot to get to daytime. And then we'll go around and finish all the side stuff and then leave finale for like the last stream. So anyway, um, we'll just have to leave that behind. Sorry. I tried, but it won't let me. So I think the other ones here are the detective ones and I can't do them out of order, so. Let's skip ahead here. It really should say if something is day or nighttime locked. Okay, I did that one. So well, let's do this one next. Oh, okay, this one I have to have a certain amount of squirrels. So where can I check how many squirrels I've gotten? Let's see. Is it gonna say it? Buzzwords. Let's look for squirrels. It says I have to have 55 squirrels. I don't know if I have that yet. Will it be here? Did I miss it? Does anyone know where the squirrels are? <laughs> the squirrel stats! <laughs> Let me catch up with chat. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, the school focuses on every step of the production of animation, but I really want to work in animation itself. Cool. Uh, if you've seen Wolf Walkers, that's the kind of thing I would love to do. I have not seen that. Let me look it up real quick. Wolf Walkers. Oh, this one. I've been meaning to watch it and I just haven't yet. I just haven't yet, but I've seen a lot from it. Um, and I, I really want to watch it. I just... I haven't given myself the time, but yeah, that looks really, really cool. Um, and I know the other animations that they've done, I've, I've seen a few of them, from I think from the same studio. That's so cool, yeah. Uh, the walkthrough was me rushing to get Omega Ruby done so I could focus on university. Ah, yeah, yeah. I love the aesthetic of Wolf Walkers and all the works of that studio. I still haven't seen it, gotta see it at some point. Me neither, yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're all like, I love that movie, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> 
I love finding stuff for myself, but if I'm just done with a puzzle, I'll just pull up the walkthrough to save myself, right? Like, if you're not going to finish the game because you're so uh, frustrated, then you might as well just look up a walkthrough so you can finish the game, you know? I love Cartoon Saloon, but still haven't watched any of their films. I've seen, I think, one or two. Cartoon Saloon is the best that's out there, in my opinion. Wolfwalkers is their polished gym, and I love it way too much to be normal. Oh, that's okay. If you guys are in the mood to watch more uh, cry-inducing movies after Belle, Breadwinner by Cartoon Saloon will break y'all's heart. Oh, God. Yeah, let me write that down. I'm making a list of games and movies to play and watch. Um, okay. So we've got um, Breadwinner from Cartoon Saloon. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for the recommendation so I can cry. <laughs> Only cartoon saloon I've seen is the Selkie one, and it was so good. Mm -hmm. I swear, if this guy is like the slimy dance canceler again, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll have to see it later when it's daytime, I guess. Hey, Amelia, welcome. I always got confused about what floor I was on in the school. With this game and Yakuza 7, I got pretty used to the city, though. Yeah, the city I think I'm better with, but the school is still so confusing. I mean, I would get lost in my actual school all the time, so I'm not surprised. Seen Breadwinner had me in shambles. I cry easy, but Breadwinner left me on the floor. Oh, God. I almost forgot to say this next semester I'll have more chances to be on campus since now. My classes require me to arrive on some days. I'm thankful for it because I get to go out, but also I will probably grow more tired after class. Oh, no. Same hat. I cry really easy at films. Yeah. Uh, have you checked in Camarocho? Um, I've I found some squirrels in Camarocho. I haven't put a lot of like work into finding the squirrels. That's why I think I probably haven't found 55. But uh, I just I don't know how to check where I've seen them, like how many I have, unless it says it on the map. Does it say on the map? Maybe. I know the map will show the icons, but I'm not gonna go through and count them. <laughs> I just want to know like if there's something in the menu I can check how many I found. Also make that three. Love movies, but I cry when I see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They actually have a tip on helping you figure out what floor you're on. I think it's the lines on the floor that tell you. Oh, the amount of lines? That sounds so familiar. I feel like we talked about that before and I forgot. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like uh, doing the robot club specifically helped me learn what things floors are on though. So most of the time I'll know now, but I forgot about that trick. Okay, let me see if the map tells me. I don't think so. I mean, I found a lot of squirrels, but I don't know if I found 55 of them, but I'll, I'll have to in order to do the side cases. Oh Lord Jesus. Maybe we'll skip that one too. <laughs> oh. I just want to know. I'm sure it's in town. Go. Where else could it be? Um, I don't think it's going to be in tasks or anything. It's not going to be in case files. It should be here. I just have to find it. Enemies, skills, girlfriends, dances, robots, races, boxing, skateboards, girls bars. Esports. Oh god. Alright, here I go. I'm gonna look for it. 50 photos, 30 minutes, restaurant drinks, axes, enemies. Doo -doo -doo. Has to be in here. Any games? The dog? I don't think so. What the heck? Why isn't squirrels in here? Okay, I'm just gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google it! How weird. It has to be somewhere. Wait a second. There are 56 squirrels total? <laughs> oh god! So I have to find all but one squirrel to do this. Okay, we're gonna do that later. Uh, no. <laughs> we're gonna do that one later. In fact, maybe I'll just skip it. 
<laughs> oh my god. I thought that was like a hundred. I was like, oh, maybe I found almost 55. No. No. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that one some other time. <laughs> okay, sorry. Jesus. Okay, uh... So that side case is probably to find the last squirrel. That's what it is. So I did this one. Now let's do the next one. Uh, let's see, this one should be in Yokohama 99. So hopefully when we go back there, it'll be there. Let's see if it's on the board. I think to continue plot, I have to go to Kamurocho, so we should be fine. Yeah. yeah I pretty much remember where everything is now. No more game, only squirrel! <laughs> I could go around looking for squirrels. I just don't feel that's super fun to watch. So I'm like, let's do other stuff first. <laughs> let's do something else, especially cause like the other side case I tried to do was a dud. So I'm like, let me not, <laughs> let's do something interesting. Let's do that. I could even find the squirrels off stream. I'll just have a walkthrough and just pull them all up and go find them. Maybe I can do that tonight. I don't know. Is there a collectible section in the menu? Uh, yeah, I would still like to know how many I have. Um, collectible. I'd imagine it should be in Town Go, but I didn't see anything. Mm, settings? Oh, no. No, no, no. Hmm. I do not know. But I'll worry about that later. I'll go find all the squirrels off stream, y'all. Don't worry about it. I'll handle that. I'll put in overtime. <laughs> Get those squirrels done. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, friend. Welcome. Welcome in. Kitty cat and a dog. We have a calico today. Does it look angry? It's got angry eyebrows. Oh, that's so cute. An angry boy. Okay. Let's see. A um main story progress. So I'm almost at the end and I still have to do more plot for this one too. Every side case I look up I can't do yet. <laughs> and then I don't know what the question question mark one is. It should really tell me this in the walkthrough, man. Maybe I need a different walkthrough. Oh god. Okay, well anyway, I can't do that one yet either! Oh gosh. Let me let me find out what I'm doing and then I will catch up with chat. I'm sorry. I've been trying to do a side case all night and I can't find one to do. So give me a second. So I was trying to do that one. So let's do this one. They don't make it easy, huh? I don't think I've done these. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. I've done this. And they're out of order. They are out of order. Okay, different walkthrough. Different walkthrough. This one is disappointing me. Lost judgment. Side case. Walkthrough. Alright. I was using this one. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. This one's in order. So, uh, a random phantom, and then the next one should be this. Okay. Oh, it's a date. Oh, some of these are date ones. So I would have to go. Okay. So to do all the side cases, you have to date the girlfriends. I see. Well, maybe we could do that. That might be fun. Okay, let's go on some dates. We are doing uh, the girlfriend stories sooner than I thought. All right. <laughs> kind of all over the place today. Oh god, I almost fell. I almost fell out of my chair! Okay. Anyway, I'm fine. Um, where am I? So we're going over here. Oh god. Okay. We're gonna date Emily! So we finish the girls bar story. Okay, so this should be how we do this. Okay. Let me catch up with chat. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh. Do do. Hey, KC. Sorry, I'm late. I've been trying to join by my what? But my Wi-Fi is a big jerk. No worries. No worries. <laughs> Fishy, let's do all the missions. Also, Fishy, skip, skip, skip. Well, it it won't let me do them. I can't do them. Haven't caught a judgment stream in forever. Have you beaten the main game yet? I've been missing them, so I don't even know. I have not. I have not. Um, I'm basically gonna start streaming Lost Judgment exclusively soon. Um, just to finish it out and then do the finale pretty soon. But I have all these side cases to get through. I gotta change it to daytime though to do them. Uh, I think the question mark is just the previous case. Oh, okay, so maybe I haven't done that yet either. Is the last school story locked? It is. Um, it has to be daytime. It's nighttime right now, so I have to progress the story a little bit to change the time. This is me seeing that a Pokemon I have requires a stone to evolve, and I don't get the object until I have the last battle against my rival right before the Pokemon League. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, it has to be daytime. Time for Smooch. Sorry, uh, talking about Pokemon. Uh, no, you're fine, you're fine. I'm legit trying to help uh, by looking up guides so you don't miss, uh, mess around and spoil yourself. It's okay, I mean, I'm not getting spoiled for story stuff, it's just the walkthrough for the side cases, so it's fine. I do appreciate that, though. Um, but she's actually down here. Oops. I know this city like the back of my hand, but also I forget where the girls' bar is. <laughs> Oops. Don't worry, you already have 500 plus hours. A couple more won't do any harm. Wow, okay, that was a jump. <laughs> it's a hundred, thank you. 500. I don't think I put 500 hours into anything in my life. <laughs> Except maybe breathing. Or living. Maybe. Okay, anyway, now we can actually do something. <sighs> I think she's in here. I'm gonna laugh if she was outside. <laughs> I paid 20 bucks for nothing. Oh. No, she's over there. She's over there. I see her. I see her. My bad. No, it's okay. <laughs> just sensitive about it, okay? No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Oh, what's it? Uh, forward slash S. <laughs> Uh, hey Wanderer, welcome. Hey, I'm Neh here. I'm looking for a streamer who's into magic worms, trinkets, and maroon-esque colors. That'd be me. Oh, speaking of maroon colors, we did my hair over the weekend. Nobody said anything. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, Ruvo dyed my hair uh, over the weekend. It took three days. We did half of the bleaching sa uh, Saturday, half of it Sunday, and then dyed it yesterday. So it was a whole thing. Um, but yeah, now it's fresh and it looks like the color again. And just because like people kept calling it red and then I kept arguing that it wasn't red, I looked up the color dye online, like the product, and it's described as a burgundy. So it's a, a purplish red. So it's technically red, but when people say red, I think of like poison ivy, like red, red. Like, I don't even know if I have something like, like this. That's red to me. This to me is more like purpley, purpley pinkish. <laughs> Not red. <laughs> so anyway, it's burgundy. <laughs> Specifically, that's orange. No, because orange is on here. This is orange. This is red. Has a burgundy luster. <laughs> uh, wait, I thought I effed up my phone screen. It looks real nice. Uh, thank you. Uh, burgundy, I mean. Can't spell. That's okay. <laughs> That's yellow orange. I mean, it's next to the yellow. I can't argue with that, but. <laughs> it's macaroni, actually. Macaroni cheese. Wine red. Distant cousins. Yeah, it's kind of like a wine color to me. To me, it's like a dark pink, but not quite like actual red or maroon. Is it purplish red or reddish purple though? Probably purplish, reddish purple. Why a reddish purple? Hello? I'm not ready for a poppy break yet. I've just started trying to play the game. I just started trying to play the game. Well, maybe I need to de-stress with poppy real quick. Okay, hold on. It's time for a poppy break and then we get into this. Yeah, come on. 
Come on! It's time for puppy! It's time for puppy break! Puppy break! Puppy break! Yeah! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! You want massage, ma'am? You want a massage? Yes. Very good. Very good massage. <laughs> it's definitely a color. <laughs> Blood orange. Oh no. Poppy break. For when Bishy is almost about to break. That's accurate today. Poppy pup. No game. Only Poppy now. I think she likes the massage. <laughs> I've never done this to her. I think she actually likes it. Do you like that? Yeah! her face like that. wants to leave already. <laughs> I swear, she comes up for five seconds and then she leaves. She never stays anymore. So rude. Alright, go to your chair then. Go to your chair! Fine! Leave then! <laughs> go on, go to your chair. Show them, show them your trick of going to your chair. Happy, go to your chair. Go to your chair. Go on. Please, Poppy, you're embarrassing me. Thank you. Go to your chair. Go on. I don't know what I look like when I do this. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> no, go to your chair. Go on. You've made your choice. You've made your choice. Go on. Go to your chair. Go to your chair. Let's see. Go on, up, up. Up, up. Poppy, up, up. Oh my god. Please. The people are waiting. Poppy. <laughs> Poppy, up, up. Go to your chair. Go to your chair. Go on. She's just kind of like standing and staring. Not at me, though. Not at me. I don't know what she's looking at. Okay, we're moving on. You missed your chance. You missed your chance to be in the spotlight, Poppy. You blow it! You have such authority. Well, I don't wanna I don't wanna be too firm with her right now. Oh. Ugh. Beat. That was the color I was trying to put into words. Your hair, the color of beets. Perfect. Yeah, the music fit very well with the massages. The poppy massages. Get petting music. Alright. Hey, Emily-chan. Oh, Takayuki. You came. Since I'm already here, maybe we can find something to talk about. Girlfriends! You meet lots of different women around town, but only a handful have the potential to be your girlfriend. After getting yourself a girlfriend, you can chat her up and ask her out on dates. 
As they interact with you more, they'll grow more intimate and may trigger new girlfriend-related events. Chat as often as you can, and something special might happen when you get really close. Um, You want to hang out? Want to take a breather somewhere? Sure, but where at? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe we can chat? Thank you for the clip, Panda. What should we talk about? Dogs! <laughs> I'm dealing with one right now! I feel like Emily Chan and I had fun talking to each other. I had fun today, Takayuki. Come back soon. Like right now. Jokes. I kind of wish we could see the conversations. Be a little more interesting, I feel like. I don't know what she's doing. Ruvo, do you want to retrieve the poppy? I feel like Emily Chan and I had fun talking to each other. Do do. So we're just trying to get her hearts up now. Viewpoint. Sure. She's just sniffing around. Uh, tell me how to get in touch with you. Hanging out, contact info. Thank you. Poppy has been retrieved. <laughs> the dog doesn't retrieve. You retrieve the dog. <laughs> okay, tell me how to get in touch. Straight to the point, no funny business. Hey, tell me how to get in touch with you. What? Why? Huh? Well, uh, because... If you don't have a reason, then no. I'm not telling. Aw. Rejected. Guess I'll give it a shot later. So, that's a no. <laughs> um... You want my contact info, don't you? Hmm. Poppy was a Labrador. Would that make Ruvo a Labrador retriever? But she's not. Rivo is a Chihuahua retriever, I guess. I guess. <laughs> but don't just... Delicious, nutritious beet hair and organic. Something special like hand holding, perhaps, maybe. I meant she as in Poppy the dog. Really close is against TOS. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Got to go for the more assertive approach. You want you want my contact info, don't you? What? I take it as a yes? Huh? Not even a little. <laughs> when did you turn into such a pig? I, I'm trying to exchange cell phone numbers. Swing and miss. This is not going well! Today's just not my day. <sighs> um, I'd love to know whenever you're in. How about we swap contact info? If I hit you up on a day I'm working, will you stop by? Of course, as often as I can. Then let's swap! Okay. <laughs> Got her info. Alright, so maybe... So now we can keep chatting. Okay. I almost wish I could skip that. Okay. How close would it require, would it be for it to not be TOS? I think hand holding's the limit. <laughs> Even that's borderline! <laughs> okay, so intimacy is up. So now I leave and I think something will happen. She'll call the cops. No, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh. I 
And then I remember I was starting to date, um, I don't remember her name, but she was from the first game. I was starting to date her, and then she just stopped appearing, and nothing happened. So, I don't even know how to progress that. I still have to look that up. You and Emily can just, like, stand next to each other. Maybe a hug? Maybe a hug? You can brush shoulders. Beyond that, everything's censored. <laughs> yeah, like the two hands holding are completely pixelated. That's probably her. Yep. Hey, Takayuki. Why don't you stop by where I'm working today? Use food as an excuse to invite her out. Invite her out aggressively. Beat her on the bush. Maybe food? I've got to phrase it just right. Make her an offer she can't refuse. At least, that's what I read on some dating forums. Nothing to do but give it a shot. Oh no, you can't trust the dating forums! Have you had dinner yet? Yep, I ate just a little while ago. So she already ate. In that case... There's this cafe in Ijincho that's got an amazing dessert. Do you want to check it out with me before we go to the bar? She's typing. Sounds great! I've always got room for dessert. Okay, good. Nice. Perfect. How about we meet up in front of the station? Sure. Once I'm ready, I'll just head over to the station and meet up with Emily-chan. The sta- oh, the subway station? Yeah. Alright. Making some progress with something. Finally! Does shaking hands count as hand-holding? Yes. <laughs> A way to a girl's heart is through her stomach. Oh. And... She stood me up, didn't she? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, I'm- oh, okay, I'm here first. I see. I see. <laughs> I was gonna be like, well... Sorry to keep you waiting, Takayuki. You were sleeping till now, weren't you? You feel fully awake yet? <laughs> I'm actually still kind of sleepy. I could totally go for a coffee. Coffee would go perfectly with a little dessert. Yeah, let's head out. Just a little snack? Just a little snacky. I don't know why today has been so chaotic. <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Wait a second! Uh oh! That's against TOS. You know what that means. We gotta pull out our sensor bar. <laughs> Which obviously is not against TOS comparatively. Perfect. No, I just have to make sure I cover it the whole time. Emily-chan, what are you doing at night? I think I'm tired of sleeping at night, so... I'm tired of sleeping at night. So I'm tired of sleeping at night. Do you they're not even holding hands, their arms are clipping through each other. Well, you know what's funny is that technically he's not holding her hand. She's kind of just holding his wrist. So is it really holding hands? <laughs> what is that? Do people do this? Why are you holding like above like the meat? Like she's holding like the meat of the hand. Like the palm, you know? <laughs> Where all the meats are. She... <laughs> like, wouldn't you hold like right next to the elbow if you're gonna do that? Like holding their arm? Instead, she's like holding the palm. Okay. Anyway, that's disgusting! Are we going in here? Oops, oops, oh, oh! Hey, I think we're going in here. They're melding together. 
That's definitely against TOS. <laughs> She's grabbed him by the wrist. She's gonna pull him close and handcuff him. Stop right there, criminal scum! Oh. She's trying to stay safe and germ free. She's holding like the meat of the. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. <laughs> quote 436. Oh, thank you. I was about to be scandalized. Yeah, I got y'all. I got y'all. Melding wrists than holding hands. Yeah. That's even more against TOS. You know what's another way to a girl's heart? Giving her a little bat that she can hold in the palm of her hand. A little bat? Aww. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mmm. That was delicious. And not scandalous at all. She wiped her plate clean. She practically inhaled that. And what about it? And what about it, Yagami? It was a good dessert. Now what should we talk about? What? Sorette. Oh, so, is that your natural hair color? I'm a little jealous. It's beautiful. Where are your parents from? It's beautiful. <laughs> It's really beautiful. <laughs> Both of your parents came from overseas, right? How long ago did you move here? だからもう海外より。なるほど。Explains why you're fluent in Japanese. もう英語の方が苦手になっちゃったな。え?あ、really? <laughs> Probably got that foreigner all panicky too. Oh, okay, that one's done. We can talk about her hand. We can talk about the scandalous hand holding we were just doing. I love this new dating system. It's so cute and relaxing, plus the girls are the best personality-wise. I dare say better than the hostess system. I feel like it's a little bit more natural, yeah, than the the hostess system. I did I did like that too though, like in Yakuza 0 and Kiwami too. Um, but this is nice too. Or even uh, how is Yakuza 6 with stuff like this? I just keep remembering Yakuza 6's animations, like for facial expressions was kinda off-putting, that's all. <laughs> Tell you what, baby hand, baby hand. Even her nails are looking stylish. Oh, her nails. Okay, your nails are super cute. You treat your fingertips with respect. <laughs> Looks like you really invest in your nails. Your nails are super cute. Emily Chan. <laughs> what a weird <laughs> sentence from earlier. Oh, <laughs> you treat your fingertips with respect. What? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. They fit the entire Emily Chan ensemble. Sweet. I think that made her happy. Eh? It makes sense it's more natural, as this is a real date, while with the hostesses you're paying them to converse. Right! <laughs> that too! We're actually dating this time. What else do we talk about? Um, oh, her jacket? Maybe uh. her clothes? Ah. Girls Bite won't let you work in your own clothes? Mm. Makes sense. I bet you would really draw in lots of unwanted attention dressed like that, huh? Mm. So, yeah, 
If you don't mind me asking, Emily Chan, why did you start working at a girls' bar? Ah, so it was a scout. Now, the scout was scouted. Wow, any jinsho? <laughs> I ran. Can't blame you. I'm sure you get hit on a lot. I think I get why guys hit on you. Hmm. Maybe this one. Someone told me I treat my fingernails with respect. I would give them the most confused glare. I would be so confused. Like, what? <laughs> treat your fingers with respect or perish. Your finger honor must be preserved at all costs! <laughs> I'm sure you get hit on a lot. <laughs> well, I'm sure you get hit on a lot. Mm. <laughs> Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Oh my god. I bet that took him by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you treat your fingernails with respect. Okay, Hannibal. <laughs> it sounds like something Hannibal Lecter would say. <laughs> the undersides of your fingernails are so clean. <laughs> Shall be my next pickup line. <sighs> Alright, Archer, but uh chat can't be your one phone call, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're gonna call the cops and be like, I think I'm talking to a serial killer. <laughs> uh we're sounding like Yoshikage Kira, yeah, yeah. Tell a Yakuza to treat their fingernails with respect. <laughs> now, that's gonna be a phone call from the grave. Now you're the most popular girl here. I'm sure the owner doesn't want to lose you either. <laughs> Having pride in your work is a wonderful thing. You want to leave? Get out? Why? But why? I always felt a bit of a fake and forced feeling when I played the hostess game, even though I really enjoyed it. I guess that's sort of the point. For the dates, I generally want to learn more about the person I'm with, and it's also cute seeing uh, Yagami develop feelings for her, whereas in the hostess game, it always felt one-sided on the hostess end while Kiryu had no real interests uh, romantically. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that's true too. With Kiryu, it's a little less genuine feeling, and with Yagami, like, you know, he's actually wanting to date them. <laughs> I see Zoe pulling up quotes that they don't mean to. <laughs> I still can't believe that uh, the judge and ace attorney said that. You will suck down the penalty and you will like it. <laughs> and then the next quote you pulled up, when I get something, I just eat it. I feel like they go together. <laughs> you know, why? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Emily chan? Huh? <laughs> Hmm. She's just bored of it? I don't know about that. First date successful! 
Here's a good pickup line. Hey girl, are you a hook? Cause I'm a worm. And I'm hooked so on yes. you! Ha 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 ha. <laughs> By the way, Emily Chan, there's something I've been curious about. Oh yeah? What's that? What's the S stand for in Emily S. Mochizuki? Is it your middle name? Uh, oh, well, it's Kimitsu. a secret. Yeah. Secret? Come on, really? Mm. Yep. Only people I really like know what the S stands for. People you really like, huh? I guess that means I'm not telling you, Takayuki. That burns just enough to get me fired up. <laughs> Thanks for the escort, Takayuki. I had a blast. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's head to the bar. We're just getting started. Do we have to? Is she gonna be like working now? Or is she still on break? Oh, I'm walking her there. Okay. Oh, you know what that means. Oh. Oh. あたしが日本語に詳しくないと思って、卑猥な言葉を教えてくるの。そういう時はどうするの?店長は釜と飛ぶれって言ってたけど、私は気持ち悪いって言ってた。Oh my god. <laughs> Just stay far enough ahead, she can't hold you. Run! Run, Yagami! Run! Hurry! Get off of me! <laughs> Run! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 Don't touch me, vile beast! <laughs> oh my god. Here? Really? That's what I heard. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> oh, hey. You're Mochizuki, aren't you? I knew you were here. Man Kichi heard right. Hey, Mochizuki, we invited you to the class reunion. Why did you snub us? Oh my god. Uh. Forget that. Are you seriously working at a girls' bar? Antisocial Emily? No way. What? Oh, so y'all are bullies, and you've come here to bully her when you're full grown adults? Antisocial? Emily chan? Yeah, right. What the hell are these guys yapping about? Plus, people can be like anxious and shy in like school and then flourish when they get older, you know? Mochizuki, so if you work at a girls' bar, that must mean you'll take real good care of us, won't you? Ha ha ha! Mochizuki, don't be ridiculous! Communication's not her strongest suit, remember? Come on, do you even get what's going on? Oi. Hey, you guys. Mochizuki, mind if we stop by? It'll be the perfect little after party. Reminisce about the good old days, huh? Oh my god. Emily-chan. Oh, Emily-chan? What? What's the matter? <laughs> Damn it. Jerks! Ah yes, her full name is Emily Secret Mochizuki. Emily-chan. Takayuki. You okay? Sorry, I need to take the day off. I just called out. I see. I'm really sorry. You mind if I head home? Uh. Not at all. I'll walk you back. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Thanks. And... What the heck? I kind of wish you could skateboard with the girlfriends and other NPCs. Oh, that could be fun. At least some of them, that'd be kind of fun, like they actually skateboard. You just went on a nice little date with this lady and you're calling her a vile beast? Yeah, she's trying to hold my hand and that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> she tried to hold their hand without asking first. <laughs> oh. A uh, question. Out of all the cute mini games in Yakuza, like the photograph one in Y3 or uh, Taiko no Tatsujin, what would you want back? Taiko was pretty fun. I would probably say the photographs, though. I mean, that was so cute. I loved that. I don't blame her for being antisocial to them. I wouldn't want to talk to them either. Right? Like, and especially, okay, you think that she's antisocial, but she's probably not with her actual friends who care about her. Like, I just. I hate when people get bullied just for, like, being quiet or something. I remember growing up, people would do that to me all the time. Not necessarily bullying, but teasing. Like, you're so quiet! Why are you so quiet? You know? When it's like, that's not gonna pe make people open up, you know? <sighs> I'm sure she just doesn't want to talk to these- to these people. They're just rude, yeah. I love the photo booth. It was so cute seeing the poses the characters did, especially the ones they did together, like Kiryu and Haruka. Yeah, I would love if they brought something like that back. Like, we do have the selfies, and people will pose for the selfies, but, like, going into a photo booth as a mini game would be really cute to have in, like, a modern Yakuza game. I would be ecstatic. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it in Yakuza 8! I don't know, but that would be really fun. So sorry about this. You gave me uh, an escort, and you were planning to come to the bar. No, it's fine, really. So, Takayuki, you don't want to ask me about those guys? I figured I shouldn't. You're too sweet. Can I see you again over at the bar? Of course. I like it there. Wakata. Great. In that case, just let me know when you're going in. Okay, I will. Take care and see you soon. Maybe she'll open up to me about it next time. Alright. We have finished one side case in two hours. <laughs> Amazing! Amazing work. Really. We're, we're doing great work here today. <laughs> uh, picture the itchy game taking pics in the photo booth. It just sounds so cute. I know, right? I mean, I would love to have like a dragon engine, like Kiryu, doing photo booth stuff, but I know that's not happening at this point, so... The most I can hope for is Yakuza 8 with our itchy gang, which is also... which would also be cute. I guess I just run around. Oops. I think I just have to wait for her to text me. In the meantime... You know, I have a lot of these points now. I don't even remember what I- where I can buy things. Is it at the skate park, I think? I don't know if there's anything I want there. Alright, let me see if I have to do something specific for this. Doesn't say anything specific. Let me just go there and see if I can uh, find her. I don't want to reach a dead end with this because the same thing happened with the other girl that Yagami was dating. Just kind of like stopped being around. I just want to take you on a date, girl! Let's see if she's in there. <laughs> I just realized Kaito's been probably waiting for weeks at his office, waiting for Yagami to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Don't worry, Yagami. I mean, Yagami. Don't worry, Kaito! We'll be there soon. Yeah, she's in here. Are you feeling better? Yep, all good. Sorry about last time. No worries. I'm just glad you're okay. Enjoy yourself. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's chat. We only have one more topic. So I'll probably have to start giving her gifts or something. Okay. Let's see. Or we can hang out, but that takes a minute. 
What should I give her? Oh, I do have gifts. Um, let's give her the earrings or maybe the heart. Let me give her the ring. Hope you like this. Thanks, this is great. Uh, I need to give her both. Okay. Damn it. What the heck? Thanks! I love- I thought she was gonna say, what the heck? This is terrible! <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. So now we leave. Alright. Let me make a note to myself that I have to find all the squirrels after stream. Or at least work on that over the next week until next time. So my goal will be to find all of them, except the last one, because that's a side case, um, before next time. So she'll probably text me. Yep. Hey, Takayuki. I'll be in today. It'd be awesome if you stopped by. Yeah, I was just there. <laughs> I know. Or, I know. I'll ask if she wants any company while chilling out. How about we kill some time before heading to the bar? You know, unwind a little. Sounds great. We can just hang out in town. Let's meet up at the station like always. Roger that. Like always. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it for increased intimacy levels. <laughs> yeah, gonna be running around town looking for squirrels. <laughs> He's too busy with the squirrels, Kaito. I'm sorry. Sorry, buddy. Speaking of which, um, so me and Ruba have been playing Metopia off stream. Like, wild. We've been, like, basically speedrunning it, but not speedrunning it. But we've just been playing it every waking moment that I'm not streaming or sleeping. Um, and we're still not done with it. We've been doing that for, like, a week now, and it's still so much left to do in the game. But we're getting nearer the end. Um, and so one of the characters I put into the game is Kaito. And I was expecting you to like him, but, like, for some reason in the game, he's just kind of, like, mean. Like, the class I gave him and his personality combined... He's always, like, doing an attack that hurts everyone on the team and the enemies. And then people always get pissed at him. And then I have to try to get them to not be pissed at him. And it takes a couple, like, tries. So it's just annoying. So I actually really don't like Kaito in Miitopia. But it's just because of, like, the way I made him. But it doesn't impact how I feel about real Kaito. I just thought that was funny. Like, I hate Kaito in my game. But I love real Kaito. <laughs> I don't know why he turned out like that. Uh, Akayuki, Emily-chan, let's roll. Mm. Let's roll! Okay, Takayuki, I'm in the mood for Chinese. Alright then, Chinatown it is. <laughs> Five-star Chinese food, yes! Uh, yeah, might want to have that conversation with my wallet first. Oh boy. I recommend finishing MRC before the side cases and the squirrels. Hmm. Well, I definitely want to do the squirrels off stream. So that's why I was going to do it before next time. Can't forget the sensor bar. エミリちゃんは高校時代はどんな子だったの？今とあんまり変わらなかったよ。東京の高校に行ってたんだけど、高校は楽しかったな。高校時代はモテたんじゃない？うん、モテ期だった。一年に百人以上から告白したかも。す
Um, let's see. I was having a conversation about the future of VR gaming, and my thoughts are it's a cool way to play games, but will most likely never replace traditional games. What's y'all's opinion? Um, I think the same thing. I think that VR, um, is, like, kind of a- it's a different experience, so it's more of, like, a fun extra thing you can do with games, but I don't know if we'll ever be at a point where we only want VR, you know? I mean, if we're, like, thinking futuristic world where everything is digitized and holograms and crap, I mean, yeah, then maybe everything would just be you're wearing a screen. Um, but if we're talking, like, reality right now, the next, like, you know, 10, 20 years, yeah, I would say it's still gonna be something like this, but maybe more advanced. Um, or, uh, and then, and then, uh, <clears throat> VR will probably still be another kind of gaming experience you can have on the side. Yeah. Most places I've been to, uh, are, oh, you're talking about the Chinese food. I like to think of VR as another option to play games in a different way. Yeah. There's many reasons why some people may not pick up VR altogether, so traditional games feel like they should just stay. Yeah, that too. Like, not everybody can play a VR game or has a need to play a VR game. Or, you know, some people even just get dizzy or get headaches from playing them. Um, and then there's another issue of, like, you're only supposed to be in a VR headset for, like, an hour at a time. But most people I know will play games, including myself, for hours and hours, and then it'll impact your your vision and, um, you know, get headaches and stuff. So it's just not really feasible for it to be the only way to play a game, you know? There, I mean, it's I think it's fine that there's games that are only made for VR, and then there's games that are traditional. But I mean, like, we shouldn't have, like, a world where we only play VR unless it's more accessible and um, isn't something that's so jarring, I guess. It would have to be kind of different. But we are also at the very beginnings of VR technology, I feel like. So who knows what VR will be like in like 50 years? <laughs> who knows? The sensor thing made it seem like they're holding different stuff, namely a rubber duck. <laughs> holding a pengu. There are enemies called pengi in Metopia, and they're so cute. Just some squishy penguins. Yes, yes, they're really, really cute. If you look up pengi Metopia, if you haven't played Metopia. See, we're pretty far into the game. Uh, we're like almost done with it, almost, which took forever. It's such a long game. Um, but yeah, I love Metopia. Can I? Can you tell I love Metopia? Yeah, I love Metopia too. I'm so glad we finally got into playing it. Okay. Woo! I'm stuffed. That was incredible. You must have been starving. Food always seems to taste better when I eat with you, Takayuki. Oh. You mean it? Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm kind of dying to know about what happened last time. What do I do? Should I ask her? I mean... Awkward. Akis! No good. I can't get what happened before out of my head. Now I can't think of a topic. I gotta clear the air somehow. Come on, think. Okay. It's just good old Emily-chan. She's normally all smiles, but she has a sad look every so often. Just thinking how beautiful you are. How about a staring contest? Oh, sorry. Uh, well, I was just thinking about how beautiful you are. <laughs> she liked it. <laughs> Thanks. She ended up complimenting me. Maybe the other one would have been better. It's the same outfit. So, is this your own outfit today? Well, you definitely give off a different vibe at the bar. You look great. I like your outfit today. I really like your girl's bar outfit. You look great? Oh. Yeah, you look great. Your fashion sense is sharp. Really top-notch. 
でもデザーにデニムって結構着こなすのが難しいよね Too rugged いかつくなりすぎちゃう Yagami literally wears leather and denim all the time yeah, yeah. I don't get that impression at all I think it looks perfect on you, Emily-chan ありがとうお気に入りの服だから褒められると余計に嬉しいよ You can tell it's her favorite outfit because it's the only one she wears Yeah, he's worth thank you for recognizing that Oh, well, thanks. I didn't expect to be flattered myself. <laughs> Let's wear matching outfits next. Get it, get it to the next step, the next level. Okay, what are we talking about now? We talked about her nails last time. I'm not seeing anything pop up. Oh, her purse. Talk about that. Oh, boy. I'll right, talk about what I think you're talking about. Uh, I can't believe I never knew there were twerkies in Metopia. You were just never gonna tell us. Or at which part are you specifically? <laughs> we um have defeated the Dark Lord, and we are now fighting the next big baddie. And also, there is a dragon, and I love it so much. Utopia is such a good game, and the customization is really good. I wish I could make Mies on the Switch with Miitopia customization options, right? Yeah, the custom stuff in Miitopia is really, really cute. The twerkies, those are an experience to see for the first time. I was dying. It's a turkey with a big butt <laughs> in Miitopia. It's amazing. A twerking turkey. Yeah, and they shake their butts, too. Hey girl, wanna hear about Bitcoin? Oh god. Please no. <laughs> someone I saw that someone I saw that was playing in the DS had to close theirs out of pure shock. Oh the turkey. <laughs> it's pretty jarring the first time you see it. Was the arrival of the next big baddie shocking? Yes, I thought we were done with the game. But there is so much more. Yeah, look up twerky Metopia, please. I am begging you. If you haven't seen it. Are you serious? Yes. It's a turkey with a giant butt! <laughs> oh. Probably my favorite enemy. That's a lovely bag. Damn. Seriously? What kind of customer just gave that to you? Must have been Candy Crush. <laughs> So he's a game industry entrepreneur. Must be if he can afford a gift like that at, at that age. Yeah, can't agree more. Ooh, more valuable than money. I would say life. I want to say friends being yourself. Well, I don't think she wants to hear friends. Although I don't disagree that friends are very valuable. Um, life being yourself. I guess life. I think maybe she would like to hear that. I'd say life. Oh, did that come off wrong? Oh my god. Yeah, you missed the mark. Okay. Ugh. I messed it all up. Yeah, I messed it all up! Darn it. Hey, um, Takayuki, so about last time... Mm -hmm. Oh? Yeah. You are curious, aren't you? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, but you only tell me what you feel comfortable telling me, okay? Well, Takayuki, I hope you're ready to hear me out. Of course. So you're okay with sharing this with me? Mm. Yeah. Those guys, they were my classmates back in elementary and middle school. Oh, yeah. I remember them saying something about a reunion. Yep. Nijincho, where I went to school. Nah. What was their deal? They were kind of being jerks to you, Emily-chan. Well, I used to be friends with them, but like, not friends friends. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? They're your friends, but not really friends. They were your friends, but they actually weren't? As far as anyone's concerned, they were friendly with me. 
When I first moved to Japan in elementary school, I didn't understand the language too well yet, and I didn't know anybody. But I really didn't like spending time with them. They were always teasing me. Hmm? Teasing you how? Stuff like calling me gaijin. Oh! Talking to me in bad English accents, the way I looked. Ah. They'd lie about what some words meant when they taught me Japanese. I would say embarrassing stuff and the whole class would laugh at me. Oh, that's terrible. And you know, she's she's half Japanese too. Like she's Japanese and they were treating her like some foreigner, you know? That's messed up. Yeah, but I didn't know anyone else in Japan. I had no other choice but to be friendly back. They would tease me nonstop, but I would just keep on smiling through it all. I hated it. This is like that situation where you know, you're friends with people, but really they're your bullies. And they say that they're your friend, but really they just treat you like crap. Basically, she was their punching bag. It's terrible. That must have been really tough for you. Hmm. Yep. But what I hated more than anything is when they would make fun of my middle name. My favorite grandma is the one who gave it to me. Is that why you won't tell anyone your middle name? Yeah. I've been kind of neurotic about it ever since. It's just my poor grandma. Emily-chan. Japanese people seem to have a, no problem commenting on the way others look. That totally wouldn't fly in other places. Uh. Actually, you might be right about that. There are more Japanese people in Japan than any other race, obviously. Any kid who moves from overseas is going to stand out. That's why some inconsiderate people tease and discriminate against anyone different from them. Yeah, um, this is definitely, you know based in reality. I've heard a lot about, um, you know, how people who are, you know, half Japanese, like this girl, are, are treated really badly, like they're not real Japanese people, even though they are literally Japanese. Um, or even if you're at fully Japanese, but you look different, they're gonna be, you know, treated very poorly compared to someone else who kind of fits in to the, the status quo. So, yeah, pretty bad. I hate being made fun of like that. Emily-chan. Emily-chan, last time you said you wanted to get out of Injincho, right? Is that why? Mm. Yeah. Got some pretty crappy memories in this city. I actually got scouted by a girls bar in Kamurocho too, which is why I've been so torn over it. Yeah, that makes sense. I just don't want to do the same thing I did last time. Having to give up work and run back home. Yeah, I think we all go through times where all we want to do is run away. Mm. So, Takayuki, do you have any memories you wish you could forget? Memories I wish I could forget, huh? Well, yeah. Really? Even you, Takayuki? Uh. Of course. And you know what? I ran from them, too. <laughs> no way! Really? It was back when I had a different job. There was someone I couldn't trust completely, so I just ran. I was terrified of being betrayed, so I chose not to face it. That's when became a detective. Does that awful memory haunt you even now? Uh. Yeah, it does. But I've more or less come to terms with it. It was about three years ago. Takayuki. You're a strong person, Takayuki. At least one of us thinks so. Can't tell you how often I doubted myself, but I had plenty of people help me overcome it. And did that help you find closure? Yeah, in a way. No way to change the past, so I can't really say it's completely behind me. But even the most painful memories can become the fuel you need to push yourself forward. You make something good out of a painful past? Really? Uh. Absolutely. The way I see it, painful memories serve their own kind of purpose. That said, it's never easy when you're the one dealing with them. Yeah, I guess that's true. Game got real, real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It has, it has those moments, you know. There's a lot of silliness in this in this game series, but <laughs> like that, <laughs> all the little hearts. Um, but it also has its serious moments for sure. <laughs> it's all hecked up. Yeah, I I was worried that I was gonna like fail the date, but I guess it's fine. I probably just don't get as much um, intimacy with her. Let me catch up here. Dominic the dragon is an absolute blessing. He is so cute. I know, I love the dragon in Miitopia so much. I love the enemy designs. We just encountered the running noses in the game and I hate them. Yeah, they're just like giant noses with legs. It's awful. Is that a mouth on the butts? Yep, the turkey butts. <laughs> Miitopia RPG of the year. I will accept no arguments. The noses are so gross. I am like, oh, every time they move. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't like it. Uh, my favorite communication minigame in Yakuza is the friendship stuff in Y6. So nice seeing Kitty have a big group of friends. That was nice. Yeah, I did like that. Uh, the Japanese name for the Torkies is Shiri Tori, but bird. Ah, I was wondering what the pun was in Japanese, because I knew it was originally Japanese, so... I was thinking about that, like, surely it wasn't called Torki. Shiri Tori, that's funny. Every time I introduce anyone to the Torkies, I'm just so dejected, because it makes me s so miserable. Why? <laughs> I love the Torkies. What more intimacy would you want? Y'all are already holding hands, you know what? Yeah, you're right. We already have reached the the line. <laughs> the point of no return. That was pretty fun, Takayuki. Cool. Yeah, I had a good time too. Now let's head to the bar. We're just getting started. Oh, I bet we're gonna be interrupted again. I bet you. Majima's back. And he's ready! He's gonna be hiding in the shadows behind my camera. Is she here? Yep. Alright, come on. <laughs> Degenerates, the both of you. <laughs><笑>今日はなんかありがとね。なんか悩みを話したらすっきりした。そう。うん。苦しい思い出もエネルギーになる。うん。確かにそうかも。忘れちまった方がいいこともあると思うよ。うん。でも忘れられないからそれなのに忘れようとしてずっと苦しかったからだったら前に進むエネルギーにしちゃえばいいって思うのなるほどねわかるよ<笑> nasty <laughs> thanks for reminding me to take a sip yeah everyone take a step a step a sip stay hydrated I combined sip with s with stay. That's what happened there. Oh, goodbye, Majima. Here, this one's on me. My way of saying thanks for today. Oh, oh are you sure? Thanks. Hey, Emily-chan, you gonna chat up that pretty boy the whole time or what? Come over here already. I will when I feel like it. Oh, then you better believe this old fart's gonna come by every day till you do feel like it. Ah, uh, yep. Yep. I knew it. Ah, oh, boy. Mochizuki, you here? And then they're always drunk, too. It's them. Don't be scared of them anymore, girl. Come on. <laughs> there you are. Freaking Mochizuki the weirdo actually works at a girl's bar. I don't believe my eyes. How is she a weirdo? Her Japanese was so shady. Oh, get me a whiskey on the rocks. She was seven! <laughs> oh my god. I, you know, the sad thing is there's probably people that are like this, like, Specifically, oh, you were like this in elementary school. Are you still weird, you know? Like, I could just imagine. I mean, even me, you know, I am sure that there's probably, like, some kids who would be like, are you still like that? But it's like, we were like five, seven, eight. Like, <laughs> we're, we're whole ass adults now. Yeah, they peaked in grade five. <laughs> they peaked in elementary school, like... <laughs> Sad. Sad. Oh. Do they have nothing better to do? Yeah! That's exactly- I think that's exactly why people like this exist, you know, in any situation, any country, is because they can't grow up out of their school days. Like, they, they, you know, probably don't have anything going on with their life, and so they still feel the need to, uh, crap on other people to feel good about themselves. I mean, that's kind of the bully mentality. Someone get the manager to kick him out, right? I feel like they should be banned. <laughs> Beat him up, Yagami. We probably will. Y'all need to grow up. Yeah. Yeah. Peak, they're still in preschool. <laughs> oh, that too. In this case, it was like elementary. Yeah. 
Like, apparently they went to school with her at elementary and middle, but even then, like, that is... You guys are little kids, you know? They have age mentally up to, like, preschool. <laughs> oh. Oi. You know, I said whiskey on the rocks, right? Or do you still understand Japanese? Is that it? Hey, remember that time Mochizuki came to class and thought she said good morning, but she totally said something else? Because y'all taught her the wrong word. What did she say again? You should know, Menkichi. You're the one who taught it to her. Oh yeah, poop, right? They sound like they're five! <laughs> you said poop! <laughs> oh my god! This is so... S oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that was so hilarious! What? Speaking of, that's enough crap out of you. Now that's funny. <laughs> huh? The hell you want? Think you're hot shit, huh? Oh, we're still talking about poop. Because you're really starting to piss me off. Monkey Chan, show him some of your boxing moves. Beat the shit out of him. Oh. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You got to be my sandbag. Hope you're ready for a pounding. Let's take this out front. I don't want to cause trouble for the bar. Oh, for real? Sweet. Just so you know, I used to be in the boxing club. In elementary school? <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Punch him. <laughs> For crying out loud! You were such a jerk! You tricked a girl into shouting poop. Here, whiskey on the goddamn rocks. Oh? She's gonna be like, I am so much classier than any of y'all. What? Surprised I'm fluent in Japanese now? Well, guess what? I think I've forgotten a ton of my English. Huh? Huh. <laughs> you serious? You really forget your English? Yes, I'm serious. The other day, some foreigner asked me something in English, and I replied in Japanese. Sorry, I don't speak English. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real? That's hilarious. I mean, you could have at least said I'm sorry in English. Mm. Yeah, at times like that, it just doesn't come out. I mean, you've been a total airhead since forever, Mochizuki. Like that time during dodgeball when you kicked the ball. And you nailed Menkichi right in the face. That was for making me say poop. So that was for poop. Oh my god. <laughs> Unbelievable. She flipped her mood like a light switch, even though she had awful memories with these people. <laughs> That's our number one gal, Emily S. Mochizuki. Uh. Yeah, she really is something. I mean, I guess she de-escalated the situation. But, uh... Couldn't be me. <laughs> you want me to be the bigger person? No. <laughs> no. I'm just glad I've never been put in this situation because I, I, I honestly don't know what I would do. But I feel like I would just walk away and not give them my time, you know? Of course, she couldn't do that because she's at her job, right? So she's kind of trapped, which makes it even worse. Um, But I think she could have told him to F off. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I hope I would do. I hope I'd be brave enough if uh, I ran into someone that I hated, you know, from school days, but... <sighs> Throw the drink in their face, right? <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, laugh with them. I want to, like, <laughs> destroy them or at least get away. Like, we're through with being the bigger person. Yeah, like, I've reached a point where I'm like, I don't care to be the bigger person. I, what I, what I care about is protecting my peace and my state of mind, which includes you know, blocking and staying away from people. You know what I mean? Like if, if someone is like really, really like a very, very bad, you know, uh, influence in my life or, you know, just putting me in really uncomfortable situations, stuff like that. Like I just, I'm not going to deal with it after a certain point. I think I'm a very forgiving and nice person to a point, but 
<laughs> I think I've been too nice in the past. It's kind of bitten me in the ass. So I'm not about that anymore. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. But anyway, in regards to this specific situation, yeah, I personally haven't like ran into someone from school days that I like hated or treated me badly. I don't know. I just, I, I probably just don't go to the same places they go to. Um, I've moved quite a few times, so I don't know. Um, but I, I really don't know what I would do because it hasn't happened to me. Um, the closest I have to a situation like that was when I was in high school, there was like a get together for people who went to my elementary school. And I know that's really weird to go to like a reunion for elementary, but there was like a specific teacher I was hoping to see because I remembered them from my childhood and I wanted to see them. Um, so I mostly went for that. And I guess I was curious like how everyone was doing because I, I didn't go to the same people that I went with uh, in elementary school past that. I, I moved. So I went to it um, and I did see a lot of my classmates there. Um, and I remember there was one person who uh, commented on how like extroverted I was now or in that moment. Um, but, you know, thinking back, <laughs> uh, especially knowing what I know now about myself, uh, being, you know, ASD, um, <laughs> I think, and at that point I didn't know, you know, I only learned that I uh, was autistic like last year. So I didn't know at that time, I was in high school. But uh, I chalked it up to just kind of like being in a situation where I knew I wasn't gonna see them again. Whereas in school, I mean, you're seeing people every day. So I was very, very um, anxious and quiet in, you know, my early school days. And, uh, and you know, I think that was part of it. it. It was more than anxiety or shyness. It was like I didn't know how to communicate with people uh, in the way that they liked. So I ended up, you know, being kind of weird to them and stuff like that. So I remember someone commented on it, not to be mean, but they were like complimenting me. But I remember feeling kind of weird about it because I was like, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Where in my mind, I was like, it's because I'm not going to see you again after this, so I can be more social and not worry so much about if you're going to judge me, because I won't see you again after that. That That's kind of like a way of thinking that I adopted after a while. Like, when I go to a grocery store, I used to be so anxious just, like, shopping, because I was worried people were judging how I was talking, or, you know, if I stumbled over words and stuff like that. So the way that I got around that, circumventing that thinking was, I'm not gonna see this specific person again. And even if I do, it's just the grocery store. There's no like, you know, expectations other than I give them money, I get my food and I leave. So that's kind of how I got around that. So that's how I thought at that time. Um, but yeah, so that's the only thing, but it wasn't a, a mean situation. It was just a comment, you know? So I haven't had a situation like this character where someone comes up that bullied me or was mean to me and I have to interact with them, but I would hope I would hope that I would tell them to screw themselves. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the bigger person. I just don't want anything to do with people like that, you know? You only have so much time in your life. I don't want to waste it on people that were terrible to me. Anyway, ramble over. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, people like this need to find a goddamn hobby, but I didn't discover uh, anything new. I want to reach across the screen and beat them up myself. Emily's so above them at this point, she should beat them up herself, right? She She's so above them that she didn't give in to, like, the mindset they had, you know? She was just like, yeah, that happened because of this and that. Like, logic, you know? This bar is 21 plus only. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are, like, five-year-olds. How old are they all supposed to be at this point? Probably mid-20s. The boxing moves he probably learned when he was 12, right? Uh... I want Yagami to train Emily to beat them up. <laughs> there you go, Emily, get them. She, she got them in her own way, you know, which is fine for her. <laughs> uh, whiskey on the rocks. The rocks are made with poop water. <laughs> she used tap. <laughs> uh, they're really five-year-olds. They don't deserve her kindness. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, to a point, I don't feel like people deserve forgiveness or kindness, it, depending on how terrible they were, you know? So, yeah. I really wanted to beat them up. I kind of don't feel like these bozos deserve to go scot-free, right? Well, we'll see what happens. I thought she was going to sock one of them in the face with a whiskey glass. <laughs> no, that would have been amazing. Angry bitchy is scary. Are they? Sometimes punching someone in the face is self-care. <laughs> Uh, handle that like a champ. This is why Emily is the goat. 
Uh, only thing is, I'm pretty small, so if I did escalate anything, I don't think I could defend myself. I mean, like, when I mean I don't want to be the bigger person, like, I say let's beat them up in, in like, video games, but, like, I, I don't fight people. I've never fought anyone, you know? Um, I'm not a fighter. Uh, I'm more so a, I don't give a crap about you, I'm leaving. Er. <laughs> You know, um, so when I mean like, I don't want to be the bigger person, I mean like, I'm going to walk away or I'm going to tell them to go screw themselves and don't talk to me, you know, that kind of thing. Or if people reach out, I, or if someone tries to talk to me like social media, I would block them if I had an issue with them, you know, that kind of thing. Like I, I disengage and, you know, because engaging can lead to like, uh, confrontation and just, you know, not really a solution. I don't know. Like, if someone reached out to me and apologized for their behavior, I would read it, but I don't know if I would respond. Like, I just don't really care enough. Because, you know, a lot of the times you can kind of tell apologies whether they're, like, self-serving or not. And unfortunately, most of the time when I get apologies for things from, like, you know, people who have, you know, done things in the past, it's usually self-serving. Like, mostly they have guilt and they're trying to fix that. Rather than, hey, I generally feel sorry for how I behave towards you. I hope you're okay. You know, that kind of thing. So... Anyway, I'm not trying to get heavy here, but basically, I don't fight people, but I'm not going to be the bigger person. <laughs> I wouldn't do what she did. I would just walk away. I would walk away. <sighs> what a weird comment to make, too. You were so quiet, and now you're so extroverted. Ha 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 ha. Okay, what does that mean? People grow up and change. We aren't 10. Right, like, that's why I feel like what they were originally saying, like, oh, you were so antisocial, because I didn't have the context. To me, it sounded like what people have said to me in the past, where, oh, you were so quiet, but now you're not. It's like, yeah, I was a child, and now I'm not a child. Things can change. A lot of stuff can change, but anyway. That mindset helped me when I was being transferred in between high schools. Yeah, see, I feel like it's a good workaround for anxiety or not having, like, a lot of, um, like, experience with social situations, stuff like that. Hey, Anna! Welcome! We were talking about bullies <laughs> and school stuff. <laughs> welcome in! Uh, hope you're doing good. We are playing Lost Judgment right now. Um, we're doing some side content. I'm, like dating some girlfriends and stuff. I won't say any more, because I know you're planning on playing this eventually, but just giving you a heads up. Bullies, I will kick them. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about that, because in the game, I'm like, oh, she needs to fight these bullies, like, punch them in the face. Um, but then I'm like, well, in real life, <laughs> I wouldn't punch anyone. I wouldn't hit someone, you know? I'm not a fighter, but I, I don't like dealing with people. I will just remove them from my life, <laughs> if anything. Uh, Bishy said they don't want to fight people. They never said they never have. I'm sure there's a compilation somewhere on YouTube of Bishy throwing down. No. <laughs> no. There was one time. <laughs> there was one time. No, there was like a... I remember, I think I was like in high school or something, and um, a guy I was friends with jokingly was like, punch me as hard as you can in my shoulder, or something like that. So that's the only thing that I ever did. <laughs> And obviously he died after, so I'm still carrying that guilt with me now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, but no, I don't. I don't fight people. I haven't. Thankfully, I'm thankful I haven't gotten a fight with anyone. I don't want to do that. No, thank you. I don't start fights, but I'll finish them. Oh, uh, it's an Anna. Hello. I was an outcast in grade school, and everyone actively ignored me, so I get it. Really, Anna? I am so sorry. Yeah, see, like, people can change so much from, from you know, small kids to full-grown adults, you know? Like, I, I experienced that. I was just telling a story how I, I met up with uh, elementary uh, classmates at one point, like, when I was in high school. It was like a little get-together. And um, one of them commented on how much more extroverted I was compared to when I was in grade school. And even at the time, I just felt that was so weird because it's like, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I'm I'm older now and things change and I'm, a, you know, you're, you're different when you grow up, you know, like I would never imagine that that was, you know, something you experienced, Anna, um, because I feel that you're so, you know, fun to be around and so, you know, extroverted, basically, you know, but yeah, like I was also like that. I, I did have friends, but I remember like people thought I was weird. I... 
technically had a bully, I think. <laughs> it's hard for me to classify it, but you know, I had someone called me a freak at one point because of how I played during recess compared to everyone else. So stuff like that. Like I basically wasn't, um, you know, wanting to grow up as fast as the other kids were. So I was still playing pretend and stuff um, when we were like getting older in elementary school. So then someone called me that. So yeah, like, and I still remember, you know, I still remember that. Um, but yeah, people can change a lot and we realize things about ourselves. And even if you don't change, that's okay too. Like if you were quiet as a kid and you're still quiet now, there's also nothing wrong with that. Um, it's not like you have to have a pipeline where you're shy as a kid and then extroverted as an adult. It's just that from childhood to adulthood, so much can change. So I think it's kind of weird to comment on that when you first meet up with someone like, oh my God, you were so shy. I thought you were emo, <laughs> which is something someone said to me, you know? So, eh. See, I, I, uh, <laughs> I have personal experience with this, so that's why I'm kind of, I guess, emotional about it. I have some feelings. I have feelings about it. But she's got a body count! <laughs> no! Uh, I had no friends. I was so sad in grade school, but happy now. I will go back in time and we can be friends. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I, I'm in a, a much better place now, you know? Um, I, I went through different friend groups in school and I, I struggled a lot, you know, um, like, you know, learning last year that I ha uh, I'm autistic and looking back at school, I see why I struggled so much was because of that. I didn't know how to make friends with people or I didn't know how to talk to people like everyone else, like a neurotypical person. So I struggled with that. So I didn't have a ton of friends, but the ones I had, um, I was close to. But even then we would get into like arguments because they wouldn't understand what I was saying or I wouldn't understand what they were saying. Anyway, all of that put aside. Um, I have a great, you know, support network now. I have a bunch of friends I love very much. And, you know, I feel that I can talk a little bit better now. <laughs> but that's also not the biggest deal in the world. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm still learning about myself and how to accept all those parts of me and all that stuff. But it's a journey. And, um, you know, basically love yourself and don't let dumb people like that make you feel lesser no matter how you are no matter how much or how little you talk or you know what your personality is people who bully others or put them down are sad about something going on with themselves and that's why they um you know put you down so don't don't take what they say as reality you know <laughs> yes dumbass i'm still shy and emo but happy about it this is also me <laughs> And see, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and I, I say, I said emo as like, that person was like using it insultingly, but there's nothing wrong with like dressing that way or, or you know, having a certain fashion style or whatever, you know, like it's just people being rude. So anyway, with time we find our tribes and we're all proud uh, y'all got there, right? Like you find your, your people eventually and it just took me a while, so yeah. You're amazing, Bishy. So happy to know you. I'm so happy to know you, too. Like, I'm so sorry that you went through the same thing as a kid, you know? And I'm sorry to anyone listening right now who went through that. But, you know, like I said, just because people treat you like that, it's not who you are. It doesn't have to be how you treat yourself. That's what's most important, you know? But I still wish harm and, and, and uh, bad things on people who did treat us all badly. So <laughs> that's why I'm not the bigger person. I'm not like, forgive and forget. I'm like, no, screw them. <laughs> I'm like, no, I hope you're not doing good. <laughs> I hope you're doing terrible, bully. You know, <laughs> like, I don't care. I don't care. Like, I care enough to say that, but I don't care, like, enough to go seek them out and see, what are they doing now? Like, I just, I want nothing to do with them, but I hope they're not doing good. <laughs> I almost wish my high school reunion happened so I could bite back at people, because I just know exactly who would have not grown up and said something inane to me. My high school reunion never happened, because ironically, the people who were supposed to organize it were still sour over drama that happened in high school years ago. Oh my god. Yep. Well, you don't always have to go to the reunion things. I remember going to the reunion thing. I think I brought you. I think I actually brought Ruvo. Um, see, we, was, we were older. I was in high school, but we were older already. And um, it was just awkward, you know? So it's like, eh. like, I don't even know. I don't think mine has happened yet, my high school one, but I don't know if I would go. I, I really didn't care 
to know many people there. And even then, I would just probably run into people I don't like, so <laughs> I won't go. Same here. I want to go just to see who peaked in 2014. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, thanks for today. Hey, Mochizuki. Hmm? Yeah? Back when we were kids. I'm sorry about all that. We were really mean to you back then. Then why- if you're here to apologize, why were you still being rude today? Why were you- oh my god. No. Like, if this were me, I would not accept the apology because they were literally bullying her like five seconds ago. Like, no, get out of here. Huh? Mm. I mean, we knew you hated it, but teasing you got a rise out of everyone else, so we just kept doing it. Oh my. Mm. Oh, that's sad, Yakuza music. Okay, I'm out. Have a great stream. No worries, Anna. No worries. Uh, hope you have a good night. We'll see you around. I know we were just kids, but thinking back on it now, we probably said some terrible things. You were all pissed drunk last time you were here. Now it's a different day, same story. Do you remember what you said to me? Uh, sorry, I can't remember. I had a little too much to drink. But I'm really sorry, both for today oh, and for when we were kids. Oh. <laughs> so you are apologizing for today, but still. Actually, didn't you have a crush on Mochizuki back then? Isn't that why you always teased her? Oh, not this same old story. Oh my god. I teased you! I bullied you because I liked you! I hate this. What the hell, dude? Shut up! Huh? huh? Seriously? You know how when a kid likes a girl, he teases her and tries to get her attention? Kinda like that. I hate that. I hate that so much. Well, I mean, uh... Don't let the way Mankichi looks fool you, Mochizuki. You ever believe he's raking in six mil? At our age, too. Are they trying to, like, match them up or something? So what do you think about Mankichi? Yay or nay? Ew! Uh, hmm. Oh. If she doesn't reject him with the with the passion of a thousand suns, I am going to... No, thank you. Yep. No, thank you. Was that right? <laughs> oh, yes. What the? That's when you bust out your English? Sorry. And besides, I already like someone else. Are you kidding me? Emily Chan, you're one tough girl. Oh, thank God. I feel like she could have been meaner. She could have been meaner, but that's me. Damn, nice. I was just planning on kicking their asses and chasing them off. Honestly, I don't think I would have stopped you. I wouldn't even have given them the time of day if I wasn't at the bar. Yeah. Uh, nah. She was stuck at work. Yeah, good point. It's my job after all. And I didn't want to keep this crappy memory all bottled up anymore. Oh, I see. And you know what? If I ever run into them again, I'll be just fine. So you think you'll be okay staying in Ejinsho? Mm. Mm -hmm. Good. Glad to hear it. Hey, Takuyuki. So listen. Suji. It's Suzy. Aww. Eh? Huh? My middle name. Sorete. Wait a minute. I thought you only told people you liked what your middle name was, right? Takayuki. Tell you what, Takuyuki. Next time, let's meet somewhere other than the bar. You know, not as an escort. Are you saying you'll go on a date with me? Yep. Well. You've made me one happy guy. And I'll give you a call. Yeah, that's uh. pretty cute. Sure thing. Can't wait. Susie. That's a cute name. They bullet her for that. Kids can be awful. And sometimes those kids grow up to be awful adults. The heck, that's a cute name. Kids find the dumbest things to make fun of. I think in, in particular they were making fun of it because it's like an English name. And their whole thing about her was that she's like not, you know, Japanese enough for them or whatever. Uh, so I'm assuming that's why. I don't know if she's actually going to call me or not. She said let's not meet at the bar, but let me see.
<laughs> Let me go in there just to make sure. Because I know I didn't get full hearts with her, so maybe I still have a little bit left. Which I don't know what I'll do. I guess I might try to play a game with her, but... <laughs> If I don't beat her, it's kind of pointless. She is there! Let me see. Miss me with this middle school drama BS. Emily's got Yagami. She's not interested. I'm busting out my English. Society really taught young girls to expect boys to treat them like crap. Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly, you know. I always hate that so much. Okay, I think... I think I don't have anything to talk about. I don't think I have gifts. Oh, I do! I guess I got another one. Oh, do I have to get her all the way up to four? Yeah, you have to get her intimacy to level four. Darn! Okay, I should go buy some stuff to give her. Because I think the hangouts are going to be games I'm not great at. Let's see. Yeah, batting and darts. I don't think I'll do good. Um, okay. Let me go get her some presents. It's going to take a lot of presents to get her all the way to four, but... All right. I've got to get to sleep for tonight. Good night, everyone, and see y'all for Kirby. Good night, Wolf. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope you have sweet dreams and a good night. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Kirby. We're gonna be playing Kirby's Dream Buffet. It probably is coming out soon. I mean, it comes out tomorrow, but it'll probably drop on midnight, but I'm not gonna play it till tomorrow. And uh, Rubo should be here with me for some co-op, because it's multiplayer. And I'm gonna see if I can get some other friends to join in. I don't know if it's like you can play with people online, like if y'all could play, um, or if it's only people that are friends on the Switch or something. I don't know how it works. So we'll just have to wait and see. I just truly do not know. Um, where do I go to buy go to the pawn shop? Where would I go to buy gifts for her? Like jewelry, but not too expensive. <laughs> like the ring and the earring. Hmm. I don't want to look it up. I've looked up enough today. Okay, one more time couldn't hurt. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be this way. You got money, you'll be okay. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to spend it frivolously. I know I have 8 million yen in the bank, but I don't want to waste it. Alright. Here to buy. Yeah. Nothing. New music? Oh, should have bought that sooner. Um, okay, let me just look up, I guess. Fine! Let me Google something else. Save that. Uh, let's see. Lost Judgment. To buy... Girlfriend gifts, maybe? Maybe just to buy jewelry. Let's see. This is a whole list of all the stores and what they sell. Dang. I find it in a second. Okay, it's gonna be at probably this place. Um, I see some earrings and stuff. Okay. Let's try there and see how much it is. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Lady in Orange, and that's got me thinking. What's y'all's favorite citrus? Mine is mandarins, top tier. Mandarins are really, really good. I love, like, I think sometimes they're called cuties, which is also a very cute name. Um, but I think they're basically just mandarins. But yeah, um, I definitely prefer mandarins over, like, other kinds of oranges. <sighs> I, I can eat grapefruit. It's not my favorite, though. Um, well, where is this place? I can never find it. Oh, no. I think it's, like, upstairs? I, like, never go in there. Yeah, it's, like, over here. Okay, what are your prices? Eh, okay, yeah, this is, this is good. These are exactly the items I was looking for. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I don't know how many I'll need. So I'll probably just get, like, maxed out inventory? I don't know. <laughs> oh, good night, y'all. Have to get to bed, too. See y'all for Kirby tomorrow. No worries, Arkham. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. We'll see you next time. Probably tomorrow for Kirby. Like tangerines. Yeah, I probably would say tangerines. Tangerines are mandarin oranges. Are, are those a different, huh? I forget what it's called, but I fairly recently had this chonker of an orange that was so sweet. Oh, I can't remember the name either. I know what you're talking about. I cannot remember. Oh, I'm not going to max it out. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'll get, like... Wait, no, that's expensive. I can just get these. Yeah, okay. I'll get, like... Ten? I'm sure that's good. Okay. Chonker of an orange. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I can't remember the name. But yeah, definitely oranges, tangerines, stuff like that. I don't really like grapefruit. I like lemon, but not as much as oranges. I mean, I, I love orange juice. I'll eat oranges, you know. Um, so that's probably my favorite. What other citruses are there? Uh, lime. I do like limes, but I can't just, like, eat a lime straight up, so. She's gonna be here. I'll agree with you. Mandarines or clementines are the best. Right? There's mandarines, clementines, tangerines. Are they all the same thing? Like, <laughs> I don't even know. I use those words interchangeably. Are there differences? Oh, God. Keep going to the wrong place. a lime it's just not as pleasant an experience as eating an orange i mean that's what i mean like i couldn't eat a lime on its own physically i could but i don't want to but like i could eat a grapefruit but i don't like how i guess sour they are like they're not really that sweet that's why i like oranges i don't know if i've ever had a blood orange i've heard those are pretty good but i haven't had one Okay, I have 10 earrings for you, and they are all identical. Actually, wait, I have 16? I already, I already had six? Oh my god, I thought I was out of them. God dang it, I probably didn't even need to leave. Oh my god. Well, let's see how many it takes. Okay, that's one. I had six of them. Two. If I used seven, leaving would have been worth it. Okay, three. I think I'm gonna need more. I can use it for another girlfriend, I guess. Which sounds terrible. I think that's four. Five. I think I did need seven. Six. Okay. All right, I needed seven, but that means I just needed one more. Okay. Well, now I'm ready for next time. Okay. And then I leave, and then we should do the last event with her. 
grapefruits are too bitter for me. Yeah, they're just not really sweet enough. Should I check my inventory before purchasing new items? Nah, <laughs> I don't have time for that. She's got girls from different parts of the world. No! <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a womanizer. <laughs> I once saw this video of a lady explaining multiple families of citrus and going one by one over how different each one of them are and she said mandarins had to be her favorite which she's right and her choice. So they are different. Mandarins, tangerines, and what was the third one? Clementines. But they're all so similar. Oh, there it is. I want to try all the citrus, right? I would love to just have a plethora of orange slices, and they're all different oranges. I would love to try that. Takayuki, are you free right now? Uh. Yeah, I'm all clear. I want to meet up with you. So you want me to come by the bar? Oh, please. Try again. Are you asking me on a date? Mm -hmm. And you know, Takayuki, something really nice might be coming your way today. Something nice? <laughs> Guess you'll just have to find out later. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at our usual spot. Are we gonna hold both our hands? <laughs> Something really nice? What could that be, I wonder? What if it's... I better make up my mind before I go. What if it's what? What if it's what? Huh? Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting! Okay, so we're meeting at the same place, right? Hopefully. At least tangerines and mandarins are different. Okay. Not womanizer. Video game girl collector. <laughs> I want to try all the citrus, even if they aren't all easily attainable, right? I feel like some might be in specific countries. Instead of an assortment of cheese, an assortment of citrus. And the imposter lime. I would just love to have like a tray of fruit that's like not the ordinary fruit you would find in like an American grocery store and just try all of them. There's some fruit I know of that I want to try but I can never find them. Um, like I saw star fruit one time and I wanted to get it and I don't remember why we didn't get it. And then the next time we went to that same store I was determined to get it and they didn't have it. So uh, yeah, like I really want to try star fruit. Um, uh, I think that's the biggest one. I can't remember much else, but yeah, I love fruit. I want to try a lot of fruit. There's a YouTuber actually that their whole channel is trying different fruits from like different places in the world. And it's actually a very interesting channel. I do not remember the name of it, um, but I like watching those videos. I haven't watched in a while, but I remember liking them. I kind of binge watched a bunch of them. And you learn new things about different kinds of fruit and stuff. Always wanted to try a dragon fruit. Now, I have had dragon fruit, but I've never, like, bought it and then cut it up and eat it myself. I've had it, like, at places, like a restaurant, or I'll have it in, like, a drink I order, something like that. So I, I know that I like dragon fruit. It's not, like, a super intense flavor. I think most of the time they have to add flavors to it, like, if it's in a dish or a drink. But I, I like the flavor that it did have and the texture. Dragon fruit is a nice mild taste, yeah. See, I don't mind if a fruit isn't like too strong of a flavor, but I don't like when it's too bitter. Double hand-holding, disgusting. I, s I think I saw this one very fucked up looking fella that was all zest and no juice, which is used for vinaigrettes and such, huh? All zest and no juice? <laughs> it looked like a lemon hand, oh my gosh. Dragon fruit- oh wait, I already read that. Dragon fruit's not super sweet or super sour. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I don't think I do. Have y'all ever had a jackfruit? See, I want to try one. I want to try one, but I'm scared to buy a whole, like, jackfruit from the store. And I know sometimes they sell them cut up, but I just haven't- I haven't gotten it yet. Oh, a Buddha's hand. Okay, I do know that. I've seen the lemon hand before. Yeah, I have heard of that. Um, but I have not tried jackfruit. I've heard that it kind of tastes like, well, there's a jackfruit and then there is a... Oh, oh my god. 
There's another fruit that's really similar, but they're technically different, and I get them mixed up a lot. But if it's the one I'm thinking of, I think jackfruit is described as tasting like that gum. I think that's called, like, juicy fruit. And I like that gum. At least I, I liked it as a kid. I haven't had it since then, but... I've had jackfruit in a meal before, and it's good, but never gotten one from a store. Yeah, yeah. I think Buddha's Hand was the name. It's so interesting to me how different citrus can be from each other. Yeah, I mean, it's all down to, I guess, how they grow them and the different species and stuff. Jackfruit is a good meat substitute. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Ruvo's was talking about a dish that we both tried, but it, it wasn't really about the fruit. It was about, like, being a dinner, so I don't really necessarily want to count that because it wasn't like I got a jackfruit and then bit into it. It was, like, seasoned and flavored a, a certain way. Juicy fruit was good for a solid 10 seconds until it ran out of flavor. Yeah, but apparently that flavor is what a jackfruit tastes like. But I, I have not had it myself. That's just what I've heard. But I would be open to trying it. Oh, you're here already? Were you waiting long? Mm. No, nope, I'm all good. Just had some butterflies, so I came early. Oh. Yeah. Emily Chan, nervous? No, that's a rare sight. Well, I mean, today is a special day and all. Yeah special. Nah. Come on, Takayuki. I'm starving. Let's get Chinese food. Ooh. Okay, then let's head to Chinatown. Oh, durian! That's what I was thinking of, Archer. I was thinking of a jackfruit versus a durian. They're, they're different, but similar. I'm very curious about that one. I, I have not had a durian or a jackfruit, yeah. I eat jackfruit as a replacement for pulled pork. Oh, nice. Yeah, apparently it's great at a meat replacement. Lively as ever out here. Mm -hmm. Emily Chun? <laughs> I'm just so happy. I love being able to just walk with you like this, Takayuki. Yeah, me too. It'd be nice if we could go to all sorts of places together from now on. Uh. I feel the same way. Boy, I sure do get a little sleepy after a meal. How about you? <laughs> Girl! Huh? What do you... Yep, no time like the present as they say. Right? Or does that mean something else? Maybe woe to he who denies the meal before him. Hmm. <laughs> Emily Chan? Okay, it's best to be direct at times like this. Think simple. Uh... What are you talking about? Takayuki! Takayuki! Listen! She is not being very subtle. She likes him a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> he has ridden on a motorcycle. あのね、好き。好き。だからこれからもずっと一緒にいたいな。一緒にいろんな場所に行って思い出作りたいよ。いいよね。What do you think, Yagami? What do you think? What do I even say right now? <laughs> Come on, man! No! <laughs> yeah. I think so, too. Let's be together, Emily-chan. You and me, from here on. Hey, maybe that's how she shows her love. 
It's already pretty late. Yeah. You know what that means? Um, time to go to sleep. Haha. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you back. <laughs> okay. Are they gonna hold hands? <laughs> Sorry, bye, yeets Emily into the stratosphere. Emily really said ski, damn. More than anything in the world. Now kiss, now that would definitely be against TOS. Definitely. That's not even allowed. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, have a good night. No. Hey, do you? What? Are you a save the best bite for last kind of guy? <laughs> oh my god! Now what could that possibly mean? Oh, don't play dumb with me. But my point is, I am that kind of girl. So I... I want to cherish stuff like that. Come on, for real. What are you getting at? Hehe. <laughs> oh, Takayuki. Anyway, I'll call you again later. Ma'am. Oh my god! She's She's coming out pretty strong there! <laughs> Man, that Emily Chan. Oh my god. She's obsessed. She really likes him. Dang. Oh damn! <laughs> oh damn! Oh shit! Not the ice daru! <laughs> oh that Emily! So silly. So silly. <laughs> she, she really likes it. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Never mind. She proved she proved you wrong. Immediately. Uh okay, so we're done with Emily. <laughs> Moving on! God, that sounds terrible. Okay, so now I need to go over here. Side cases. Okay, we mend, we grow. Oh, um, hmm. I think this is also an incomplete walkthrough. I don't see everything on there. Why is this so hard? All right, let's see if this other walkthrough had it, and I just didn't see it. So, we mend, we grow. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, so for this one, I have to wait until all the school sco stories are done, so I'll have to leave that for later. Do, do, do. This one, I have to do all 41 prior main game side cases. So I have to wait until everything from here up is done. Okay. Man. There's a lot I can't do yet. Uh, all right. Now, where do I get the rest of these? So there's a school stories walkthrough, but I already did most all of those. What else can we do? Um, I know... Maybe since we just finished dating someone, I can go date the other person that I left behind, kind of. Um, so, yeah, people... Yeah, Tsukino. I never finished dating Tsukino, so... Lost Judgment, Tsukino... Walkthrough... A walkthrough for dating! Alright. So maybe we can finally finish dating her. Do do do. Oh! I had to... Right, I had to finish the dance club school story. That's why. Oh! I might have looked that up and then forgot about it. So in that case, shouldn't she be popping up? With like a little blue folder? I think she hung out here? 
going to coffee shop. Oh, pocket cafe. Okay, so she should be there if it's working, but I don't know. Um, let's go see if she's there. That's fine. Okay. Because I don't think I got to take her on a single date. I don't think at all. <laughs> oh, anyway, time for sleep. Emily achieved. Oh, are you are you heading out, friend? Or were you saying Emily was going to sleep? Sorry. <laughs> Just want to make sure if you're leaving, I, I tell you goodnight. Um, right, okay. We go this way. No, I'm still here. Okay. I couldn't tell if it was a joke or if you were leaving. <laughs> My apologies. Alright, are you in here? She's not here. Ugh, okay. What do I do? Should have done quotation marks. Oh, it's okay. I just read uh, chat late, so I couldn't tell. Oh, you played this in the English dub, so you didn't know she said that. Oh, well. Original audio always packs a couple surprises. Yeah, it's it's interesting, like, knowing some words here and there in Japanese and, like, hearing that and then seeing it translated. Because translated, each time it just said, um... I don't know if it said I like you or it said I love you every time. But I think it said I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I think it said it both... all three times. But each three times in Japanese, she says a different form of I love you. So, like, ski is like, I like you. Like, let's date. Daisuke is usually used to mean I love you. Like, that's the extent of how most people say it. Aishiteru is like, technically, from what I have heard, I'm not fluent and I'm not an expert, but from what I've heard, um, is supposed to only be used in really, really serious context most of the time. Or, if it's gonna be used, it's like that, where, like, she's, like, just saying it, like, because she's so happy, I guess. I mean, it's not like no one's allowed to use it other than serious moments, but most of the time, you're not gonna hear people say aishiteru, like, day to day to each other. What I've heard is that it's so serious, usually it's, like, when you're on your deathbed or, like, you know, in a show, like, in a movie, but most people say daisuki. Um... So, yeah, <laughs> the fact that she said Aishiteru is like, I think it's supposed to be funny, <laughs> but it's like also jarring, like, oh my god. Oh, but then in English you lose that, because it just says I love you each time, you know? But yeah, so anyway, it's just interesting seeing that, um, knowing a few words of the, of the language. Um, but anyway, I don't know what to do for Tsukino. So, let's see. Yeah, after clearing the that side case we did for her, you can raise your intimacy level with her by spending time at the coffee shop. You can give her gifts. Uh, do, 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 do. Feel free to give her stuff, you know, no matter, uh, whenever. Uh, intimacy will greatly increase if you open up a to topic that interests her. You can invite her to play games. Raising your intimacy level will unlock a side case that will let you increase your intimacy further. Compared to other girls, her intimacy side cases will take slightly longer to become available. Uh, because of this, try to spend time with her and give her gifts as often as possible. Huh. What? Okay. So it's telling me I have to go take a photo of something really specific. And I do not remember ever being prompted or told that in the game. So I'm kind of confused. But she's obviously not here, so this must be what I have to do. Oh, what? This is- okay, I don't think I can do this either because I think it has to be daytime. You have to take a photo of Tsuruno and Igarashi of the Dodgeball Club at maximum magnification. After getting the photo, you can then have your first date with her. And I didn't do that before, I don't think. 
So each of these requires me to take a photo of specific people. So I don't think I can do it because they're not going to be at the school right now. It's just so weird. I mean, did she ever tell me to do that and I forgot about it or something? Or did I take the photo and forget to go date her? I'm not sure. Um, that's really weird. Okay, so I think I'm back to square one here. Uh, let's see. We're definitely gonna have to do plot next time because, you know, everything else I think is like daytime locked. I don't remember that either. It's so weird. I mean, I don't know. Meet her at daytime. Yeah, maybe I already did it, but it has to be daytime to meet up with her. So I think we'll have to wait on that too. So I'm just trying to figure out what else we can do today. Um, we have time right now, but I just don't think I feel like doing the plot today. I wasn't really prepared for that. So I'd rather leave that for next time and we just start with plot right at the beginning. And then I just get to a point where it's daytime and then we switch gears and go back to side content. And then I finish up everything. And then the next time I do plot is the finale, you know? What the guide isn't telling you is that that's a mission. It sounds like a mission. So I feel like I have to talk to her and she has to ask me and then I have to go do it and then go back and then we can date. It's activated once you meet with her, right? That's what I thought. Cause I, I remember I got her, I think to intimacy level two or one and then she just disappeared and I never saw her there again and I forgot about her. So I never went back. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let me, let me figure out what else we can do today. <laughs> Unless plot is the only thing left to do, but I feel really weird going back to it at the end of a stream, you know? No, it's okay. It's not really spoiling. Cause I'm at this point, like for the side cases, I'm just trying to figure out how to do them. So it's okay. Hey Jan, welcome. Welcome in. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Uh, let's see what else there is. So that was the girlfriends. So what else do we have? Let's see, there's the MRC. So I don't need that. I mean, technically we could look for squirrels. <laughs> technically, uh, we could go looking around for them, but I've been trying to do that. I, I want to do that off stream, I think, if I can help it. But if it's all we have, then it's all we have. But there's just so many here. It's so weird that I, I can't do a lot of these unless it's daytime. Yeah, I can't do Dastardly Detective right now. I can't do this one yet. I forget why I can't do that one. Um, I can't quite figure out what these ones are. Let me look up another guide here. Oh, yeah, I think today is basically finishing up everything that's that's nighttime available. And next time is going to be about unlocking the daytime, which means doing the story just a little. I don't know how long it's going to take to be daytime, but I mean, with the part we are in the story, the fact that Yagami just has to wake up the next day, it could be a situation where I have him go to sleep and then the next day you have to go to a specific place or talk to someone to continue the story and it's just daytime. But I don't want to depend on that because sometimes you have Yagami go to sleep and then it starts with a cutscene and then you do a whole bunch of stuff and then you're free to walk around. So I know that the chapter I'm in right now kind of goes fast, so I'm worried it's going to do that. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think anyone here would know 100% either, just because it's been so long. So I, I don't think anyone would know, and I don't want to look it up and get spoilers. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that, uh, let me see if there's anything else we can do. Otherwise, I'll probably just have to leave it for next time and do some plot until it's daytime, and then we can keep continuing with the side content, like I said, and eventually do the finale. So let me see. Uh, side cases. Let's let's double check side cases. See if there's anything else. Because the only stuff left was the MRC, which is daytime locked, side cases, and the girlfriends. So I just dated another girlfriend. I don't know if there's, maybe there's another girlfriend I haven't dated yet. I dated the mascot one, I dated Emily, and I dated... I'm trying to date Tsukino. Is there a... a oh wait, there's another one, isn't there? There's like a, a nurse or something, isn't there? I have a note about it. Yeah, there's a nurse. Okay, maybe we can date the nurse. Oh, what's her name? I don't even know where to find her. I might need to rest. What chapter are you in? Yeah, but see, I don't know if resting is going to just immediately continue the story. I'm in chapter 12. It doesn't say anything. 
Um, I'm supposed to go rest in Kamurocho. Hit the couch at Yagami Detective Agency in Kamurocho. The nurse is at night at the school? Oh, at night. Okay. Maybe we could do that. Um, let's go back to the school. Taxi. Okay. Maybe that's what we'll do, and then we'll continue everything else next time, but... I almost forgot about her. Can't, you can't change it to daytime without continuing plot? No. You only get that ability in, like, premium adventure most of the time. Usually, Yakuza doesn't let you change the time of day until you beat the game. <laughs> Kinda sucks, but it's because, like, in the story, it's supposed to be nighttime. And then Yagami's supposed to go to sleep, so... It'd be weird if they just let you change the time of day. Although, I feel like it could just change it to nighttime and then change it back to daytime or something when you go back to the story, but... Where would the nurse be? Let's see. Is there, like, a clinic? Oh, nurse's office. Okay. I got it. I know I'm talking up the plot so much, and I am gonna laugh if next time... It's literally just he wakes up and then you ha you don't have to continue plot. You can just walk away. <laughs> but I don't want to take the risk when I'm not prepared, so. Okay. Going for the nurse again, huh? Listen. Listen. Oh. Uh. Uh, do I have to do something specific to unlock her? Because it's not letting me go in there. Usually the cutscenes after you go to sleep are just little conversations. I, I know. I'm just not 100% sure. Because I'm not going to look it up, so I really don't know. But it's okay. We're almost at the end of stream anyway, so I don't want to start story right now, just in case. But we'll do it next time 100%. It'll be the first thing we do. Um. Okay, nurse. Lost judgment. Let's figure this out! Uh, it says that she is available at different times of the day. So she might not be available at night at first. Yeah. Oh no! I don't think I can see her quite yet. Uh, but let me double check. <laughs> it doesn't say... Oh my gosh. Yagami, why are you making my life so difficult? Okay, let's see. There's someone who has a problem trying to find her. Uh, let's see. I think this person- I'm looking at forums now! Uh, I think this person says... After a certain chapter, she's only available in the morning. And you can't have, like, any story to do in the school. So, I don't think I can do this right now, either. Ah, <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, I think I've done everything that is nighttime. I looked it up, it won't force you into a cutscene. It won't? It'll just change the time of day? Oh, God. Alright, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared! Oh, no, that's the wrong way. You can sleep and then goof off? Okay. If everything's locked. I mean, yeah, like, if if I don't do this, I have to end the stream because there's nothing else to do in the night time. But uh, it's not the end of the stream yet. Oh, I'm so nervous. It's been nighttime in this game for months. <laughs> for months in my reality. Let me just stand in the darkness three inches away from this door. Hello? <laughs> she's probably in there, but she's like, who are you? <laughs> She's terrified, and I don't blame her. All right. I really hope that's true. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. I'm just nervous. It will ask you to take a cab. Okay, so that means I can avoid it. Okay. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, though. I have to come back to Ijincho. See, that's the thing. I have to come back. I do have to take a ta cab to Ijincho. Will will the story progress once I come back? Because a lot of the side cases are going to be here. 
Just don't go to see the character. Hopefully we can avoid them. I mean, if not, we'll just end the stream and then I'll continue next time. It's it's okay. Um, okay, Kamarocho. <gasps> My first plot in months. <laughs> Who's there? Is it a stalker? Oh, it's just you, Yagami. <laughs> oh. Leap of faith here. Yeah, I'm trusting you. <laughs> Like I said, though, I mean, I'll do a save, and then if it suddenly is plot, like, heavy stuff, I'll just end the stream. Because <laughs> I would have ended the stream anyway. This is just me trying to get some stuff done today, um, and not end the stream early. So, okay. So plot's over here. All right. Are y'all ready for plot? <laughs> Hopefully barely any plot at all, just simply changing the time of day. I mean, to be fair, I left at nighttime as well because there was some stuff going on side content wise um, that was nighttime locked. So I had to do nighttime, but now there's nothing left to do at night and everything else will be daytime, except apparently the nurse is going to be at different times of the day. So the nurse might be something that I do after I finish the game, just so I can freely change the time whenever I want to. Um, because once I'm going for the finale, I'm not doing any side content. So I'm not going to be going back and forth once I just completely am like, you know, steamrolling and doing the plot. So yeah, she'll probably be like one of the things I do in premium adventure and not much else because I'm trying to do everything else pretty much. But she straight up panic quits. Yeah, I'll probably just pause it and then exit the game. <laughs> just go back to my, my just chatting page and we'll just do that. Okay, so let me save here. All right. <laughs> oh, hopefully it's not much. Okay. So nervous. I'm so nervous for Yagami to go to sleep. <laughs> what if he doesn't wake up? Is there actually anything here? I think I checked it before and there's nothing. Yeah, it's actually all done. Kamenocho is pretty much done. Like so scared. <laughs> I shouldn't be scared. Let's see what happens. I mean, there's nothing else. Everything else is done. Until it's daytime. Okay, head to Charles. Ask Higashi about Soma's Tojo clan days. Okay. I guess part of the reason I avoid, I've avoided doing plot unless I was ready to do plot as well is because I don't want people who like are watching plot, like say when I upload this to YouTube, if they want to skip around and not watch all the side content videos, I, you know, I understand that. So I feel like they would be kind of like disjointed, like, oh, suddenly it's daytime now, you know what I mean? Um, so I guess I try to think of that stuff too, but it's not a huge deal if it's like barely anything happening. Like if it's just daytime and then you take a taxi, like, <laughs> it's probably fine. Um, okay, so actually, this is in Kemarocho, so that's even better. So we can go to Ijincho. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Boom, plot! Yeah, I know, right? I was like... <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think it was as simple as that, which is fine. I was doing everything else. We just reached a stopping point for nighttime. The objective is to get to Kirby tomorrow. Yes. Yes. I can't believe the game was only like $15. Um, I think it's because it's just a bunch of mini games. It's not like a big, you know, mi story game or anything. Plot jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> We have plot jump scares here. Oh my god, all right. It's daytime, yep. There's Tsukino and everything. All right, I guess let's just go do that um, since I was about to go date her anyway. Um, I can also look for the nurse while it's daytime just to start it. I think maybe I should start it. I think Maji, I was right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you for the assurance. Um, now we can do all the other side content, no worries. All right, oh my god. That was a pain in my booty. Okay, let's go to the school and see if we can talk to the nurse. Now you can do everything. Yeah, now it's just all side content, baby. 
And we'll do the plot when we're damn well ready. Chapter 12, I think this is your last day to Yeah, so I was cutting it pretty close, huh? <laughs> like someone told me like chapter 12 just goes and goes and goes. And then you're at the finale. So that's why I stopped where I did. And I was scared to even continue just to go to sleep because I thought it would just go, you know? That's why I had to have confirmation of someone like looking it up. Yeah, now all the kids are here. Oh wait, the nurse is gonna be over here. Oh my God, Yagami, please. Oh, speaking of stopping points, I promised myself I'd wake up early tomorrow so I can do yard work without melting. Uh, good night, everyone. Thanks so much for being here, friend. Uh, good luck with the work tomorrow. And uh, thanks so much for being here. And we'll see you next time. Let me catch up with chat in case I missed anything. Give the man some rest. It's been months, I know. <laughs> Poor guy. Finally got some sleep. He's done everything else in the world but sleep. Oh. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, she's in here. <gasps> now that I think about it, Akase-san is the school nurse at this school. I met her the other day. Isn't Hakase the word for doctor? <laughs> Maybe I'll go say hi to her. I could be wrong. Say hi! Hi! Like Kirby. <laughs> Excuse me. Um. Hello. Yagami I like her mole. She has a cheek mole. Oh, you're Detective Yagami. Finally, we meet at school. Yeah. Hi there, Hakase-san. So, I guess you really are a teacher nurse at Seiryo High. Mm -hmm. Oh? Were you doubting me? <laughs> nurse doctor. <laughs> Not at all. Your white coat just makes you look very official in that role. It's a role I take very seriously. I'm quite strict with the students, you know. Even if I don't look at them. Nah. Gyoko-chan, let me sleep! <sighs> That's Hakase-sensei to you, okay? Now what's wrong today, Nana-chan? Oh. Um, I have a headache. How long did it take you to come up with that bluff? Fine, just go back to class once your headache is gone. Okay, I love you, Gyoko-chan! I told you, it's sensei. That's what I need to do, wake up early to do yard work, but alas, I am a night owl. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard for us to wake up early. The students clearly love you, and you said you were brand new. I hope you're right about their feelings. Hello. Sensei, I scraped my knee in practice. Could you clean it? Uh, what's going on here? Is she nervous with blood? Um. The band-aids and antiseptic are over there. Why don't you practice putting them on yourself? No, I want you to do it, Sensei. That's why I came all the way here. Mm. Well, if you insist... Well, unless he's being weird. Okay. Here, let me see. Oh. Uh, sure. Hmm. <laughs> Ow! Wait, Sensei, not so rough! <laughs> Keep it down! I can't focus! What? Jeez. Um, thank you, I guess. <sighs> what? What is wrong? Hello. Hey, uh, Hakase-san? Are you okay? Uh -huh. Yes. Well, eh? yes, I'm fine. It's not like anything dramatic happened. Yeah. So why are your eyes darting all over the place? I'm sure they're not. Would you like some coffee? Where did I put the coffee? Oh, found it. Akase-san, that's the antiseptic. Huh? Hello. Look, I have some things to take care of, so never mind. I'll see you later. Weird. She sure was acting weird. Hopefully it was just my imagination. Maybe I'll stop by again if I have time. And then... I wonder if I can just stop by now? Honey, your last plot stream is on YouTube, says June 1st. Um, I don't know if that's when I streamed it, though. I... It could have been, like, a week or two later. Because I don't always upload, like, immediately after the stream. Like, all of the streams I've been doing over the last month, I'm behind on YouTube editing, so all of those are gonna be way behind the actual day they were streamed. So it'd probably be more accurate to look at the collections... Um, but it'd be kind of hard to know what plot, like, which one has plot in it, so. 
I don't know if that's completely accurate. It was probably sometime in um, May, if anything. So, it's been a little bit. <laughs> it's been a little bit. I guess even June 1st could have been a little bit ago. <laughs> so I think I'm making it worse, really. Coffee and, and antiseptic are basically the same thing. Of course. Oh, no, I don't think she's... Oh, she's here, but... Things will probably die down at night. I should stop by then. Yeah, of course. And now I have to come back at night. <laughs> so that's not going to happen until the end of the game. So we'll just date her as the very last thing in the game and we'll do everything else. Okay, so I can go and date uh, Tsukino now. Yeah, I didn't realize the, the nurse would be like this. So I didn't think to go and start dating her as I was playing through the story. I just, I wouldn't expect someone to be, you know, time locked every time you talk to them. Oh. But yeah, it's been a minute since I've done any plot. It's been taking quite a while to do all this side content. I mean, it took forever to do all the school stories. <gasps> we can go do the MRC. Wait, go back. Go back in the school! I just realized we can do everything. I don't even have to do side stories anymore. Oh my god. I can finish up the school stories. Okay, go back, go back, go back. Oh my god. Do we have enough time to finish MRC today? I hope so. If she was a Pokemon professor, her name would be Hakase Hakase. Fun fact. <laughs> doctor, doctor. You know, I could believe that they would name a character that. I feel like Pokemon would do something like that. Okay. Oh my god. MRC! I can finish all the school stories. And then doing that unlocks some of the side cases. Okay, perfect. Let's do it! I can still look for the squirrels off stream, though. <laughs> like Mario Mario. Exactly. <laughs> okay, here we go! Ready, Yagami-san? Oh, I sure am! Okay. From here on, the school stories will commence the truth. Once this starts, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. Proceed. Ooh. I'm sure there'll be times where I can save if, like, this goes on too long, but I'm okay with that, because we're doing side stuff right now. Let's do it! Um, well, let me save first, just in case. Hi. My bad. Just a sec. Yeah, let's save again. And let's even do a new save here. Got Mario is their last name. Yup. <laughs> I know nothing of Pokemon. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Now let's do it. Uh. Good to go. Well then, let's look back on each incident the MRC's investigated so we can hopefully gain a better perspective. Finally! It looks so pretty in the daytime now. Like, the city. I'm like, oh my god, everything's so bright. <laughs> I've been playing at night for like two months. Oh. Okay. Review each case. Uh -huh. I think this is the dance club. Yeah, Dansu. It says Dansu. <laughs> in the dance club, Maika Takanashi got into her sugar baby gigs through the professor's message board. Mm -hmm. This is what led us to discovering the actual site on the dark web. Students post on the site by using an exclusive browser and register by using their student IDs. As such, we've come to the conclusion that the professor has a very advanced knowledge of computer networking and programming. Uh. That, or he's got someone on his crew with the knowledge. So As for Takanashi-san's motive for becoming a sugar baby, that was a rather unexpected development. Uh. Yeah, the person who Takanashi went through all that effort for was... I'm gonna have to remember all of this? Oh, no. Okay, well, I, I think it's Itokura. Oh my god. Kotoko Itokura. Last semester, Itokura was the chairman of the cultu Cultural Festival Committee. Takanashi was a member of that committee, too. The other members got sick of Itokura's poor attitude and eventually began ignoring her. By the end of it, everyone had turned their backs on her. Eh. That had to have been rough. Mm. At any rate, the result was a colossal failure of a culture festival and Itokura-san hasn't been seen in class ever since. Thus, the identity of the dance club Sugar Baby was revealed, but the case didn't end there. 
Someone by the username of Dancing Bunny posted a request for a physical assault of Norizuki-san, captain of a rival dance troupe. And the person who requested the hit turned out to be a bit of a surprise. Uh. The true identity of the poster who requested the attack on Yurie Norizuki is... Uh, I, th I think it was actually him. Yeah. It was the dance club advisor, Gomekado. He used Nishizono's Dancing Bunny account to make the request. Except, according to Sakakiba, the professor actually never granted the request, despite the generous offer from Komekado. What we can deduce from this is that the professor's motive behind his mach machinations, machinations are not actually monetary in nature. That does make me wonder what the professor's criteria is for selecting posts. Okay. This one... Is that the photo? No, this is the photo club. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Oh, it goes in order, huh? I was gonna be like, maybe I can try to translate. Meida? Meida? Meida in heaven. Meida in heaven. Heaven. Made in heaven. I still got it! <laughs> oh, bless. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Made in Heaven, Biker Gang. The leader of Made in Heaven, Yuma Suo, or Suo, he went from the disciplinary committee to a biker gang practically overnight. It turned out that Suo Kun's mother had forbade him from participating in motocross, so he was doing what he could to suppress that desire of his while still having an outlet. Oh, thanks so much for the follow, hero. Thank you. Right, and the professor picked up on that jealousy, so he exploited it. By manipulating Suo through certain means. Ah, um... A letter... The picture of Made in Heaven members riding out on bikes. Business card. This jumpsuit. Was it this? What measures did the professor take to lead Suo astray? Uh, I think it was this letter, yeah. God, it's been a while. Hey, hero, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, thanks for asking. I hope you're doing good, too. Um, I am currently doing some side content in Lost Judgment. Have you played Lost Judgment? Um, I'm a big fan of Yakuza, by the way. I've played all the other Yakuza games. Uh, it's just this one left. And uh, I've been playing it for a while, but, you know, trying to get all the side content done. So right now we're doing the very last school story with the MRC. And then I'll be done with all the school stories, and then all that's left is the uh, side cases. So yeah, I'm pretty excited that I'm almost done with all of that stuff, and then I can go for the finale. Oh, I haven't. What kind of game is this? It looks neat. Okay. <laughs> A lot of what I just said probably didn't make sense. Okay, um, Lost Judgment is a part of the Yakuza series. Uh, Lost Judgment is actually a sequel to a game called Judgment. So it's Judgment and then Lost Judgment, which is a spin-off series from Yakuza. Um, the Judgment series itself is really similar to the mainline Yakuza series, but it's a little bit more dark in topics, I think. Uh, it's also just a different format. You basically play as a detective named Yagami. And uh, in Lost Judgment specifically, you're solving a lot of cases that have to do with like school bullying and students uh, becoming criminals and stuff like that. It all centers around a high school. Um, so you deal with a lot of stories like that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> there's like an overarching like uh, story going on. There's like a murder case. Stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of like, yeah, kind of like a crime noir drama. Yes, but like really modern. Um, there's like a lot of modern jokes and stuff like that uh, and technology. There's like drones and stuff. You can do drone racing. There's a lot of mini games uh, that completely go away from like the main story, but it's really fun. So that's what I'm working on now is like all the side content before I go for the ending. Um, 
But yeah, it's really great. Uh, if you've never like seen anything from the Yakuza series, I would definitely recommend it. I've been playing those games for like the last three years. I'm kind of obsessed with them. And uh, I, I love all the games, but uh, if you wanted to get into it and not commit to like the whole series, because there's like eight games or so, um, you could just do Judgment and Lost Judgment. Um, because it's it's still related to Yakuza, but not exactly. It's basically the same world, but different characters. So anyway, yeah, it's pretty fun. You play as a detective and there's fighting and cool fighting scenes and stuff like that. So very story based. There's a there's a good story in it, too. So it's a lot. It's a lot. But uh, I would definitely recommend it. It's fun. Uh, they lost the judgment, so they made another game to find it. <laughs> a mystery. Oh, yeah, like a crime noir mystery and there's some drama too but i got so angry when i lost my judgment too I had it for a second and then it was gone <laughs> uh. oh speaking of names it reminds me of the first judgment uh they were looking for a guy in a black raincoat uh and then they meet kuroiwa is it kuro it's supposed to mean black yes yes it does like the, the color <laughs> that was a little on the nose then. Okay, letter. Apparently, he was tipped off by a letter found in the committee's suggestion box from a professor Professor M. Pretty safe to say that was the professor. Mm -hmm. This was supported by the fact that the letter was dropped off directly in the committee's suggestion box. So, uh, what I'm doing right now is I am talking to, uh, this student who is the leader of a group called MRC, which is the Mystery Research Club, and her goal this whole time has been to find this professor who's basically corrupting students. He's basically trying to turn them into criminals. So, we've actually done everything else now. So we're piecing together all the clues to try to figure out who this person is and bring them to justice. So this has been like a few months in the making, like doing all this side content to get to this point. So yeah, I don't know much about Yakuza, but I do know you can play as one of the characters in the new Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, you can play as Kiryu, who is the main character in the main Yakuza series. Like I said, this is the spinoff and Yagami right there is the protagonist for this. But Kiryu in, in that game is actually my favorite character. I have like a bunch of art of him in my room and everything. We have an emote, we have a tier two emote of him. Uh, where is he? There he is. Yeah, that's Kiryu. I love him. He's my favorite. We also have a booty emote that's based on his butt. <laughs> so yeah, I like him a lot. We've got his face and his butt. <laughs> Next, we just need a torso and then he'll be complete. Um. But yeah, he's actually right here too. Let me uh, switch out to my other camera to show you. I have a ton of stuff in my room. I love my stream room. I have all my fan stuff in here. Um, I actually have two of him. So these three right here are all Yakuza characters. So um, this is Kiryu, this is Kiryu, and then this is Majima, which is another like fan favorite from the series. So anyway. And there's like a bunch of Yakuza art behind me too, so yeah, uh, I like him. But yes, he is in the new Monkey Ball, and I was so happy about that, because I love him. That's an interesting emote. Yeah, we got a booty emote. We talk about booties a lot here. <laughs> really cool room. Thank you. Yeah, um, we have a bunch of posters and stuff. We uh, used to go to conventions all the time and get fan art from there. I haven't been there since the pandemic started, but... Um, yeah, lots of fun there. Me and my partner Ruvo in chat, my mod, um, we cosplay a lot. So we've cosplayed from Yakuza. <laughs> so uh, I love Yakuza a lot, but it's not the only kind of stuff I play. We just talk about it a lot because it's uh, uh, something that a lot of people in my community love as well. Um, like tomorrow I'm playing Kirby Dream Buffet. I love Kirby. I have some Kirby stuff too. Like right here, I have a Kirby squish in his face. Uh, Ruvo made this. Ruvo crocheted him. Um, and then I'm playing Bug Snacks on Thursday and Friday. So I like all kinds of games. I'm a variety streamer. I, I play like cute stuff, but also serious stuff like this. So kind of all over the place. I used to go to anime conventions all the time. They were so fun. Yeah, I, I miss them, honestly, but I, I'm waiting until it's a little bit safer to go. Is that why you haven't been as well or just haven't had the time? 
I only wish he had voice lines in Monkey Ball. Yeah, that would be so much funnier. It'd be so funny if he had his actual voice. <laughs> this is Kiryu. This is Kiryu. Yeah, I just had to show the lengths that I've gone for this character that I love. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, so it was the letter. I got that right. Good, good. I haven't seen my judgment since 2018. I can't wait till we find the judgment and Yagami goes, it's judging time. <laughs> like, it's morbid time. Oh my god. Uh, and his cake. Yes, of course. We had to have the booty emo. Okay. This was supposed to be by the fact that the letter was dropped off directly in the committee's suggestion box. Since it's located on campus, I find it highly likely that the professor attends or works at our school. We mustn't forget, though, there was one more key figure in this case. An individual connected to the Neo Kahan game. Uh. Yeah, and that would be... Oh, it was Dan, wasn't it? Dan Murasaki, aka Ghost. He's the younger brother of the legendary gang founder, Reiji Murasaki. Dan's goal was to rise to the top of the Ajincho underworld so he could step out from his brother's shadow and make a name for himself. Hoga, the Neo Kahin gang's leader, took notice of him and used his ambition for their own game. They were trying to make up for their lack of heavy hitters by making Dan Murasaki the rep of Maiden Heaven and recruiting him to the Neo Kahin gang. This Koga really must have wanted to win the professor's favor given how he thought of this as a sort of offering to the professor. Alright, so there's the biker gang. We gotta go over everything. And then, of course I know what this one is, but it says Ro... Bato. I think it says Robato. So two T's. And then... That probably says club. Because I think it's over there too. Yeah, so this kanji means club. Like a school club. So Robot... Robot club. Hmm. I know some Japanese! Now this one! <laughs> That's a different story! There's a lot of kanji there. Kanji is where I get messed up. I don't go to cons anymore because COVID and all the friends I went with are scattered across the country. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hero. I definitely understand that, though. A lot of my con-going friends are either out of state or out of, you know, nearby, so I don't get to see them anymore. So I don't go to the cons, so I get that. Um, but yeah, I hope that, that, you know, at some point it's safer for us to go again because I, I personally really miss it. Um, I I get to cosplay on stream as my creative outlet now, so I'll cosplay sometimes on stream. But it's a different experience going in person and, and hanging out with, like, you know, your friends and stuff that you've known for a long time and all that. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's still fun and I'm glad that I can cosplay in some form, but I definitely do miss the convention scene. I know for sure that says boxing. Yeah, it says boxing, but I can't, like, read it. <laughs> and this one, I think, says girls bite? My Japanese isn't great, but I think that's what it says. Anyway, a uh, robot club. Uh, the robotics club. I nosed around there after reports of robot cut purses in the city. As a result, we discovered that the thieving robot's designer was... Uh, Kurumazaki. It keeps giving me the answer, pretty much. But I, I know it's him. Kurumazaki-kun. <sighs> to be honest, I had suspected Okitagawa-kun. It's a shame I misjudged the truth. Luckily, we were able to get our hands on something juicy at that lab. A key piece of evidence that points towards the professor's motive behind instigating all this criminal behavior. Uh... I think it was this. Yeah, yeah, because this one even talks about the motives. <laughs> Girls bow? <laughs> I so miss cosplaying at cons. I hope the COVID situation gets better at some point. Yeah, I don't know. Especially in the US, they just don't take it serious, so it's kind of hard to think positively about it. Like, we were going to try to go to a con this year, and then as we got closer to the, to the day of the con, we decided not to go. So we canceled. Um, it just didn't really feel safe yet, especially there's been a lot of cases going up, you know, um, in frequency. So 
we're just trying to stay safe and especially uh, me and Ruvo are getting married later this year so we really don't want to get sick before that happens so we're trying to play safe play it safe and just kind of stay away from from big events like that uh, maybe next year we can try and be careful and wear masks and all of that but this year it just didn't feel quite good enough yet my Japanese is so rusty. I thought it said girl's kite. <laughs> I really like the art direction in this game. The faces are realistic but stylized at the same time. Yeah, um, I, I really like the style that the, the Yakuza series has and a lot of the games are different. Lost Judgment is the latest game that's come out so the graphics I think are gonna be the most polished. Um, but uh, there's like certain charm to the other games. Uh, some of the games, like the very first Yakuza original game came out in like, what, 2002, 2005, y'all? I can never remember. And then they remade the game in like a modern engine and named it Kiwami, Yakuza Kiwami, instead of just Yakuza 1. Um, and they also came out with a prequel, which I always recommend for people to get into the main series. It's called Yakuza 0. And that's in an older engine as well, but I still feel like it looks really, really good. And that came out in like, what, 2017 or something? Um, so it's older, but not that old. And uh, now they use this new engine for the newer games that have come out in the last few years, and it looks really, really nice. So this is the best of the best for Yakuza right now, because it's the most modern, but anyway. <laughs> I could talk about Yakuza all day, I think. <laughs> so let's just reveal the evidence. No, y'all. It said girls' night. <laughs> girls' night. That would be the copies of the email correspondence with the professor, which we found on the lab's laptop. The professor was explicitly plotting with the Neo Kahin gang to turn Kurumazaki kun and seven other specific students to the wrong side of the law. So, eight students total. We still don't know why he chose them, but I believe finding that out will be the key to discovering the professor's identity. Even on PS4, it looks great. Yeah, I'm playing on a, on a PS4, not even a pro, just base PS4. Um, this game is playable on PS5, and apparently looks even better on that. I haven't really seen it. Uh, I unfortunately do not have a PS5 yet, but hopefully someday. Okay, so this is the boxing. And let's see. Um, speaking of Yakuza and getting into the games, they actually released some on PS Plus. If you if you have PS Plus Hero, if you wanted to try some of the Yakuza games, this game isn't going to be on there. I think because it's so new. Um, so you would have to just see how much it is and if you wanted to try it out. But uh, I think they have some of them on Game Pass. Um, they have some of the Yakuza games on PS Plus now. They just released today, actually. Um, and they often go on on sale on Steam. I got Yakuza 0 for like 20 bucks on Steam three years ago or something and uh, had a ton of fun with it, you know, so you could also keep an eye out on Steam. So whatever console you play on, it's on there. Xbox used to not have any Yakuza games, but now that they brought them on Game Pass, it's pretty much everywhere. PS5s are too hard to get. I know, yeah, I haven't even tried yet because every time I hear people trying to get them and fail, it's just like, oh, I don't even want to bother. <laughs> I've heard some people get them successfully, but yeah, it's it's really tough. PS Plus Extra or Premium, Yakuza 7 along with the normal PS Plus. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yakuza 7 is a great one. Um, That one, I would say there's like three different types of Yakuza games. There's Judgment, there's Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is seven. And then there's the mainline like Yakuza Zero games. Yakuza Zero Onward is the one that has Kiryu as the main character. Yakuza Like a Dragon slash Yakuza 7 is a complete jumpstart in the series and has a new protagonist and it's RPG style. It's really fun though. But if you like RPGs more than like open world, then you'd probably like that a lot. But if you like more open world exploring and fighting and stuff, you would like the main games. And then there's Judgment, which is like a mix of open world exploring and fighting. Um, pretty similar to the main games, but with a different character and a different feel, because it's like a detective game. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> three different flavors. So pick your poison <laughs> if you wanted to try it. But yeah, Yakuza 7 would have similar graphics to this one, because that one just came out before this game. So that one's also a new one. Cool, I'll look into it. Cool. <laughs> Any chance I get, 
to pull someone into the Yakuza fold. <laughs> I try, but also, no pressure. I just like to talk about it. They should pay you for the ad, Bishy. I mean, Sega has given me some of these games for free, so... <laughs> the least I could do. The least I could do. Um, like, that's why I have Thank You for the Key Sega in my title whenever I play this, because uh, Sega gave me a copy of Lost Judgment. They also gave me a copy of uh, Like a Dragon, so... Yeah. I get to work with them sometimes, which is pretty cool. What's your favorite Yakuza game? Uh, I would say Yakuza 0 and Like a Dragon. I think I'm gonna like this game too, but I, I always save like my tier list until I'm done with the game, because sometimes the ending sways my opinion. So I don't know where this game's gonna land yet. I do like it, but I definitely like Zero and Like a Dragon more. Um, just because they're more fun. Like there's more silly things that happen and the story really pulls you in. Yakuza Zero is at the top for me because it's how I got into the series and I love it now. Um, so I always recommend that for people to get into it. You don't have to start with it, but it's a great starting point. And then Like a Dragon, like I said, is a complete jumpstart of the series and was just a lot of fun. I liked the RPG elements they put in the game and uh, it was just like so much silliness that happened, but also had a good story. So yeah, um, those two for sure. Playing bugs next while listening to stream and I heard Yakuza talk along with PS5 and PS Plus. So I had to chime in. Yeah, no worries. No worries. My BF BFF gave me Yakuza 0 on Steam for my birthday. His message said, en enjoy your new favorite series. Five years later, I got a go to me tattoo. He was not wrong. Yeah, see, I feel like this series, once you give it a, a shot, really can pull you in. Um, even if you don't end up playing all the games in the series, I feel like most people fall in love with the characters and the story. Um, I will say, like, if you don't play a lot of games where there's, like, fighting, you might be kind of, like, put off, but I was like that too, and I, I liked the story so much that I didn't mind it, and now I enjoy the fighting after all these games I've played, so, yeah. Um, and you could also always just watch a playthrough, like, if you're just interested in seeing the story, you could watch, like, a Let's Play or something, um, you know, stuff like that, so, anyway, yeah. I think it's a really great series. It has its faults, and I recognize those. Um, but overall, I think it's really fun. And uh, I love the characters. I, Like I said, I'm obsessed, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Todoroki Boxing Gym. This is the payback boxer case. Some masked kid kept picking fights with martial arts experts and other rough and tumble types out on the streets. In the end, we figured out who he really was. Um, uh, Mikimoto? Or was it actually Kenya? Oh no, it was Kenya, wasn't it? It was Kenya Oshikiri. He's a former karate club member who turned out to be the wonder kind of Todoroki's gym. In fact, we even have evidence of Oshikiri's motive. On to some other guy. <clears throat> Photo with Honda, Fudo, associate with the Neo Kahan gang. Oh, fixed. I think it was the fixed match. Yeah, I think it was this. Let's hope Netflix doesn't get their hands on Yakuza. Well, wasn't there something? Wasn't there something about that? Yeah, there's already supposed to be a Hollywood production. Yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> so when it comes to movies, Yakuza does have a couple of movies out there, but the two that are out there are pretty old. They're from like the early 2000s, so pretty recent after the, those first games came out on like the PS1, PS2. Um, but there hasn't been anything recent. So that's the most recent thing we know of is there's supposed to be a Hollywood Yakuza movie, but like that's all we know is that there's supposed to be one. Yeah, because a movie made by Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not really excited for it. And the movies that are out for Yakuza, I personally don't enjoy them too much. I find them more kind of ridiculous, but they don't really follow the game story that well. And the parts that it doesn't follow, like, frustrate me. Um, so it's, like, fun to watch if you're already into Yakuza, but I wouldn't watch them to get into the series. You know what I mean? It's kind of like an extra thing to watch once you already like the games. I would not recommend just watching them as a movie. There's big chances that they'll screw it up big time. Yeah. The existing movies are campy at best. They're very campy. 
And they're entertaining if you like the games. But aside from that, <laughs> I, you know, there's some people who are fans of Yakuza that really love the movies. So this is just my opinion. But yeah, I, eh, eh. Like, I don't regret watching them, but that's because I love the game so much. I'll watch whatever has to do with it. Movie Majima is the only best part of it. Yeah, if you love Majima, you'll probably like the movies just for that. But that's it. <laughs> so who knows what Hollywood would do? I don't know. Oshikiri only entered the Genbukai to try and overcome his fear of his father, Fudo. Problem is, he found out that all his fights were fixed in his favor. His champion status was a setup for the showrunners to line their pockets. And he learned it from the professor, who sent him all the evidence he needed to see the truth for himself. Which leads us to the question, why would the professor reveal his own hand like that? Had this news of match fixing leaked to the public, people would stop betting. The Genbukai racket would be done for. We can at least assume that money is not the motive. It looks like the professor's motive is a major key to solving this case. I fear what Ma Hollywood would do to Majima. Or Kiryu. Oh god. <laughs> I don't even- I don't even know. But yeah, especially Majima, because to me he's a very, like, nuanced character that I feel a Hollywood production would not get right. They would not get it right. Kiryu is probably something they would turn into like a single, like one note character, like big buff silent guy. Eh, which also isn't 100% him. But then Majima, they just would not. I don't trust them at all, no. I see, I can't trust Hollywood after Cowboy Bebop, oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like every time it, they try to make like an anime or a video game into a movie, it just doesn't really work. I think the older movie is fun as hell, but it isn't good. Yeah, it's fun, but it's not great. I couldn't even bring myself to watch it after I saw people reviewing it and a few clips. Yeah, and I know some people did like it, um, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. Um, I just know like overall, most of the time, adaptations like that don't generally go too well, but they keep trying anyway. They keep trying. But I mean, fact of the matter is they did end up canceling it, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this should be the skaters, which I cannot read. I can't read! But I think the last part says... Oh, what is that again? Is that ha? Huh? Nzu. And I think the last part is nzu. But I, 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 I don't know that one. Shinosuke Shikishima, leader of the Jincho Hounds. Oh, is it hounds? Hounsu. It's hounds. So that first part says Ijincho, and then the last part is Hounsu. I still don't know what letters exactly the first two are, but Nzu is right. Okay, I did get that. A local skateboarding community. He's also the culprit responsible for drawing the graffiti art that suddenly appeared on the walls of Seiryo. The professor just so happened to be the motif of that graffiti. Uh. Shikishima received a direct request from the professor via the website's private messaging system. That was what led him to tag the school. Graffiti is the perfect blend of crime and art. And then we have the photography club, which is all kanji. Kanto Hikawa, former president of the photography club. He'd been blackmailing Saiga-sensei to save up for his college tuition. Thanks to the professor's website, Hikawa-kun found out Saiga-sensei was having an affair. The professor supposedly reached out to Hikawa-kun to make first contact rather than vice versa. Somebody. Which means Hikawa was one of the professor's targets. Mm. And then we have... <laughs> There's an E! E supo su. Yeah, I mean, I know it says eSports, so that helps, but that's what it says. E and then su po su In Japanese. Apparently there's a live action series based on the PSP games, but don't know where to find it. Oh, I think someone mentioned that at some point and I completely forgot. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be curious to watch it, but I haven't even seen a playthrough of the PSP games anyway, so I wouldn't really know what's going on. I feel like with the live action Cowboy Bebop, if you didn't watch the anime, it's decent. If, if you did watch the anime, it's disappointing. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like the issue with the Cowboy Bebop show was that it tried really hard to be like the anime, but it wasn't. And so you go in expecting it to try to be just like the anime, and then it, it falls flat for that. But if you go in just like, let me watch a fun show, 
it was actually not that bad, probably. But most people who were wanting to watch it probably had seen the anime, so I don't know. And yep, there's our Discord there, if you wanted to join. We hang out in there all the time. I have lots of fun talking about Yakuza, but also lots of other things. Uh, Genya Sanbonmatsu, the head of Seiryo High's esports club. He cheated in competitions with a tool-assisted joystick. He seems to have acquired the program in his joystick from the professor. And it's apparently too advanced for any normal high school student to have developed it. Which would mean the professor has unusually high technical skills. Okay. And this one is Casino, so, I mean... It's ka shi no Kashino. Kohaku Hayakawa, a female student in the board game club. She started going to an underground casino here in town looking for thrills. Since minors aren't usually allowed in casinos, Hayakawa got access by borrowing her brother's membership card. She even impersonated her brother whenever she went to gamble. In the end, though, we learned she had nothing to do with the professor. Since her case won't contribute anything to our work on the professor, I'll go ahead and exclude it from our list. Alright, and then we have- I think that says Girls Bite, right? What did we decide? No, it says Girls Night, I think. <laughs> anyway, so here's the girls bar. With Emily, our girlfriend. Emily S. Mochizuki, popular employee of the girls bar, Girls Bite. Kizuna Ashihara, a third year at Seiryo, lied about his age and frequently visited her along with members of the Neo Kahan gang. Ashihara-kun supposedly joined the Neo Kahan gang thanks to his senpai. Uh. That was the unique part of this case. Ashihara had no contact whatsoever with the professor. In other words, he wasn't one of the professor's targets for delinquency. However, Ashihara-kun happened to overhear some key info about the professor while he was at the Neo Kahan gang's hideout. Uh. Yeah, when Koga hung up after a certain phone call, he muttered something to himself. That brat? Oh, what did he say? That hag? Oh, shoot. <laughs> My wireless bill! He said hag or brat, but I don't remember. I think it was brat, like implying that it was a younger person. That sounds more familiar to me. Gotta get some sleep now. It's fun chatting. Thanks for telling me all about Yakuza. I think you're a really cool streamer. Good night. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us, Hero. I appreciate it. Thanks for listening to me ramble about my favorite thing. Um, and I hope we see you again sometime. Have a good week. All right. That brat, I think, is what he said. That brat. Supposedly, that's what Ashihara heard Koka say. The fact that he said brat must mean the professor is quite younger than Koka. He's most likely around 40, so we can expect the professor to be in his teens, maybe early 20s. All right. God, that was a lot of information to go over. All that work. All right. We've gone through all the information we have so far. Mm. The biggest thing we still don't know is the professor's motive behind selecting those eight specific students to lead astray. Uh. Out of the eight, we know one person for absolute certain, Uramazaki-kun in the robotics club. Correct. Now, if we include the six individuals who we know were directly approached by the professor, we're up to seven. One more person left. Assuming our theory is correct, there should be one student remaining who was led astray by the professor. Uh. Yeah. Who could it be? Maybe this student's actually been involved in illegal activity this whole time, and we just haven't caught wind of it yet? Eh. Perhaps you're right. We must figure out who this last individual is as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Hmm? From Kento? Kento. Hello? What is it, Kento? Oh, sis. Thank God. Where are you right now? At HQ with Yagami-san. Yagami-san's with you? Perfect. I'm actually at the popo in front of the station right now, and I've got a bit of a situation. Nah. What's wrong? Mm. Well, uh... Hey! You little bastard! Oh, oh crap. Kento? Sorry. Call you right back. So I bet it's gonna be Kento! What? Mm. What? What's that? Wasn't Kento going around beating people up, too? So he's he's been doing some shady stuff. It's possible. It's possible. 
Everything all right? Yeah. I'm not sure, but it sounds like Kento's in some kind of trouble. That's not good. Where is he? He said he's at the Popo in front of the station. Come on, let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go! The only thing I know about the PSP games is the main theme song of the second game, Born to be Wild, was made by the same group that did the Ichiban song at the end credits of Y7. It's very specific knowledge. What I know about the PSP games is that um, there is a song called, I think, Majino Rock, and it's like a rock song sung by Majima. So it's like an extra Majima karaoke song. So yeah, PSP games got another Majima song. That's all I know. <laughs> I have listened to it. If you haven't heard it, I think it's on YouTube. Who do you think is the perpetrator? I don't even know if it's someone I know yet. Like, I I'm assuming it's some new character I haven't met. But the fact that it's a young person and they know about the school, it's probably a student. So it is probably someone that I've met at the school. I mean, my first thought is maybe it's Kento, but I feel like that's a little weird. So I'll say Kento, but that's only because I don't know anyone else that I could say. I just know he's kind of been involved in some things, but I don't know if he would have the technology. Or the prowess. I went the wrong way. Yeah, Majima no Maji Rock. Yeah, thank you. That's the full name. And we're going this way? Okay. Majima no Maji Rock is so good. I love all of his songs, honestly. But yeah, when I learned about that, because I, I hadn't heard the song until someone told me, oh, by the way, the PSP games have another karaoke song from Majima. I freaked out. Oh, Lord. Of course, all the characters in the world want to fight me. I'm on a mission, thank you very much. You know, it looks like it's sunset instead of, um, oh shoot. Oops. Instead of, like, afternoon or something. I'll ask the clerk inside. I'll scope out the area. Hmm? That is bag. Amasawa, isn't that bag? Oh. Oh. It's Kentos. The wallet I gave him for his birthday's inside. No way. We got his wallet. So he dropped his bag and ran? I'll ask the clerk what happened. You stay here, Amasawa. Hi. Okay. I see. So, no idea where he went. But what happened? Yagami-san, what happened to Kento? Apparently, he was here with a woman in her late 30s who was dressed amorously. <laughs> An older woman? They both got dragged into a black car by some guys who looked like Yakuza. They just took off. <laughs> Yagami-san, do you think it was the Neo Kahin gang? Maybe they grabbed him because we're getting closer to the professor? Mm. It's hard to say. Whatever the reason, we need to find Kento-kun. If only we could figure out where they took him. Kento, where did you go? The heck? Find Kento-kun? Well, uh... Hey? Okay. Igmi-san, can you think of some way to find my brother? The only clues he left behind are the bag and the wallet he dropped. Actually, I think we can put those to use. Oh. Let's just say a good detective always has the tool for the job. And this particular tool has a nose of its own. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, oh god, I don't remember what the answer was the last time this happened to me. But at least this time they give you a freaking clue. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be stuck again on the same problem. Alright, doggo. Wolf! Oh? You know where he went? Ah, Grandpa. How could I forget about him? Yeah, he's your dog! 
All right, Renpo. This is your time to shine. Woof. Puppy. I see graffiti over there. Is it dog? Follow that pupper. Actually surprised he can smell where he went because he was in a car. Alright. And the gun should be somewhere around here. Mm. What is this place? It's like an office building? Uh? Let go of me, you bastard! Kento. We can hear him? Hey, that's Kento's voice! Guess now's not the time to mess with the intercom. Dog's just that good. <laughs> the nose is just that good. Rampo's just built different. Alright. I'll take it. Oh god, they're like beating him up. I guess that's the lady? <laughs> Kentokun. Yagami-san? Yagami ah. The fuck do you want? Yeah, just punch him. Get out of the way! Ugh! Uh. Right. Like, telling you is gonna change how this goes. I'll take every single one of you on. Bring it. What in the... What's this guy's deal? Let's just kill his ass! Yeah, it's funny Yagami says that. Like, it doesn't matter what I say. We're still gonna fight. So let's just do it. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with this song and dance. Oh, well, Crane should be done. Oh, I could have done that. Heat move. Oopsies. I love the song playing right now. Is this what always plays when you're using Crane? I don't always pay attention. Oh, come on. And then here's Tiger. There you go. We've gone over this time and time again. Let's just fight already. Yeah. She just runs off. Kentokun, are you all right? <laughs> Yagami-san, I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. The music Loki reminds me of Bayonetta a bit. Yeah, the one for Crane is like very jazzy. All you need is like some la 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 la. <laughs> like some like pretty feminine voice singing over it. <laughs> then it's Bayonetta. Miyagami flying in the small office room. I'm sorry, sis. Apologies are appreciated, but they aren't explanations. Now, explain yourself. She was... <laughs> She was my sugar mama. Boy, you are in high school! What do you mean? I guess, well, I guess there was another case where there was a student being a sugar baby, which is just... These are high schoolers. I'm sorry, you're what? Well, if a lady wants to date a younger guy and she's willing to spend the money... Yeah, no, I get it. Opposite of sugar daddy. That's, uh, not what I meant. Turns out she's also seeing this guy who's kind of in the Yakuza. 
You little idiot. <laughs> nah. How did you meet her in the first place? Well, I, uh... Used the professor's site. And he's aware of the whole thing we're doing where we're trying to figure out the identity of this guy. Oh my god. Huh? What? Huh? You've been posting there? In that horrible place? Oh, yeah. Like I said, I I'm really sorry. Uh? I can't believe you. All while we were chasing after the professor. Uh, Kentokun, how long have you been doing this? Mm. For, like, two months now? I started pretty soon after I first heard about the site from a friend. Oh my god. I was just reading the site and posting for fun, nothing serious. Then one day I got a DM from the professor. Oh, so yeah, he is the eighth person. So he's not the professor, but I don't know who it is, honestly. It said, I'm well aware of your looks and social skills. You can make some serious spending money doing this and had a little job description after that. He, he, uh, he scouted you to be a sugar baby? So you got the idea after the professor whispered in your ear. Nagami san, the professor's goal is to make eight students become delinquent in some way or another, right? Uh. Yeah, and we're pretty sure we know who seven of them are. Well, perhaps the last student is actually Kento? Nah, nah. You know, it could be. Oh my god. <laughs> Just walk away. <laughs> she had a photo ready. She's like, I know you're gonna get up to something. Huh? Me? Uh. Yep. And just like that, we have our eight. And then there were eight. Nah. Well, Amasawa, now that we've got a full list, we can finally work out the professor's motive. Eh. Yes, I think we're finally ready for some serious sleuthing. Firstly, the professor's motive isn't monetary, so what other motives could we possibly theorize? Mm -hmm. Let's see. For money, for love, for revenge, there are plenty of potential reasons. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Amasawa. Say, Amasawa, what do you think would have happened if we weren't there to set those kids straight? Mm. What would have happened? Hmm. Well, they obviously would have continued their delinquent behavior. Uh. Yeah, that's safe to say. But it's also very likely that they would have been caught eventually. Every time a crime is repeated, the risk of discovery increases. In all of the cases we looked into, the police would have caught the kids eventually if they took the investigation seriously enough. Mm. I suppose that's true. Oh, so, in other words, uh. we can predict the outcome the professor was hoping for. They would get caught and punished. They would join the Neo Kahan gang. They would regret it. Maybe you join the Neo Kahan gang? I feel like everything's kind of surrounding that. There's a good chance they would have joined the Neo Kahan gang eventually. Huh? Are you sure about that? Uh. Yeah. Each of the eight students had a unique skill. Surely the Neo Kahan gang would want to take advantage of those. Oh. You think Suo kun would join the Neo Kahan gang? Or Kurumazaki kun? Or what about Takanashi san? Daga. Okay, maybe not. Oh no? Yeah, I don't find it likely. Those three especially aren't the types to join a criminal gang. Nah, nah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Which leaves us with. I guess the reason I thought this despite that is because, I mean, if they get caught and punished, they would be criminals, and then it would be hard for them to get normal jobs and live normal lives, so I felt like maybe he was trying to turn them into, like, I have no choice but to join the gang, but okay, so I guess really it's about getting caught and punished. There's a good chance they would have gotten caught and punished for their crimes in some way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems to be the most natural outcome. Most likely sent to an institution, expelled from school, possibly even turned into a criminal case. Oh, what if that was the goal? Oh. You're saying the professor's goal was to get those students out of Seirio? By getting them in enough trouble to be expelled or incarcerated? Uh. Yeah, but it's just a theory for now. I see. But it does make quite a lot of sense in this scenario. Let's see if this line of thought leads us to the professor's identity. We can move on, move on if not. What do the eight people in our list have in common? Hmm, mm, what indeed? What was the professor's criteria for selecting these students? Hmm? Hang on, these are... Hmm? What is it? Hmm. Nah, it's just a coincidence, right? kento -kun. Notice something, Kento? Yeah. Well, you were talking about what they might have in common, so I just gave it a thought and... <laughs> But there's no way I'm right. I'm terrible at that detective stuff, you know? Just say it! 
Hey. Can't they'll just tell us? Well, uh, all eight students. We were on the cultural festival committee. Oh. Oh no. They were what? I think I know who the professor is. Oh no. Kento, are you sure? Mm. Yeah, there should be a picture somewhere. Found it. Here. See, all eight of us. That girl in the middle! That girl in the middle! That's my guess! I think it's her! She's trying to get back at all of them for making her life terrible! Oh my god! No, it's all nine. Oh, oh, yep. The cogs! They're turning! <laughs> oh shit! That's the oh shit face! It can't be. Yagami-san, doesn't this mean... Uh. Yes, it does. We know someone with the motive for turning these eight, say, Rio students into bad apples. Somebody. And this theory ties everything we've learned about the professor together into a neat little lead. Huh? What do you mean? Let's start by summarizing the professor's motive. At this point, it's safe to say revenge. Yeah. I agree. Revenge sounds like the most fitting a motive if the end goal was to get those students expelled or punished. Next up, we've already deduced that the professor has an advanced knowledge of computer programming and networking. Considering the complicated darknet forum, the cheat tool, and the betting site for the Genbukai, I suspect those skills are what drove Koga to curry favor with the professor to benefit the Neo Kahin game. Also, that delinquent who went to the girls' bar, Izuna Ashiwara, heard something important when he saw Koga. He had called someone a brat after hanging up his phone. He was likely talking about the professor. A brat? Lastly, and this is the big one, there's only one person from the cultural committee who hasn't been caught in any kind of delinquency. Someone who definitely has the motive to seek revenge on the other committee members. And someone with such advanced computer skills, I wouldn't be surprised if that knowledge extended to websites too. I think we finally know who the professor is. Mm-hmm. Itokura! Oh no. It's unfortunate, but... She fits the profile to a T. Tsumari. You're right. The professor's true identity is... Kotoko... Kotoko Itokura. Eh? What? But Itokura... Don't you see? The cultural festival wasn't just a flop for Seiryo Hai. It was a catastrophic blow to Itokura's ego. It may have been due to her own attitude, but she had to deal with committee members arguing with her, blowing off their duties, and even boycotting meetings. The cultural festival was destined to be a failure with that kind of situation, but she still took it so hard, she stopped coming to school entirely. Who would really be surprised to find out she's had a grudge against her former committee members this whole time? No way. Eh. Not only that, Itokura-san is very proficient with computers. She put together that mystery trick encyclopedia in no time, and it's professional level work. She also tutored Sakura-kun in the robotics club with his programming. Demo. But the professor was selling answers to mock exams and stuff on the site, right? You would have to steal that from the cram school's computers or something. Only a professional hacker could pull that off. Well, she's a professional hacker! About that, there's still something that's been coming to mind every so often. At first, it was just a curious discovery that didn't mean much of anything. Mm -hmm. What is it, Amasawa? Uh, no. Well, when I had you go undercover at Todoroki's gym, do you remember when Mitokura-san found a photo of Fudo Oshikiri in that weekly magazine? Uh. Yeah, I remember. Well, I did some more research on that picture. It turns out the article it appeared in was pulled several years ago due to a legal claim. I'm not bad. What? Eh. I tried reverse image searching the photo, but it seems all digital versions were pulled as well. My guess would be the Omi Alliance pressured them into self-censorship at some point. Whatever the case, the fact is that no one should have been able to find that picture unless they as accessed the publisher's servers. Tsumari. So, you think Itokura might actually be that good at hacking? Eh. Yes, it's quite likely. Recall how Fudo Oshikiri turned out to be the key to the payback boxer case. What if Itokura-san fed us that info so Oshikiri-kun's crimes would be exposed and he would face criminal charges? No way. What kind of high schooler would be thinking that far ahead? This She's a genius! I just can't believe it. Not yet. Not the Otokara-san I know. Amasawa. 
Well, let's ask her to come meet with us. We should ask her face to face. And hope the only thing that comes out of it- Oh, comes of it is a good laugh. Eh. Agreed. She usually drops by the club room around this time. I'll try reaching out to her. She's been outside the door this whole time listening! Hey David, welcome. Welcome in. The Dutch angles, I know. The drama. The drama. Oh god. Speaking of drama. Did you need something? <sighs> ah, there you are, Itokura. We just had a quick question for you. Won't take long. She gonna run? She's running! What? Yup, I knew it! She can't get away! Uh, I feel bad. I like Itokura. Oh, she locked us! She locked us in! What the hell? Come on, it's stuck. I think she locked us in. Wait, did she bring a key with her in case this happened? She's thinking. She's like five steps ahead of us. Lock pick it! Open, damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you were kidding. I know. I glanced over as it revealed. Yep, she locked us in here. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Brute force it. Sometimes it works. Oh, nighttime? Oh wow, so it makes it nighttime for the story. Where is she? Were they stuck in there until nighttime? Or has it been nighttime this whole time? Hey, you. A girl just came out of here, right? Koto uh, Kotoko Itokara? Oh no, they, they were just locked in. Itokara-san? Uh, yeah, I saw her. Which way did she go? Out towards the front gate. Outside? Okay, thank you. Man. Is she gonna go to jail for all of this? I feel bad. Like, I, I like her character, but what she's done is, like, a lot of illegal shit. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> oh, and then she tried to ruin all these kids' lives. I guess in her mind they ruined her life, but... Man. She's using 150% of her brain, yeah. Damn it, we can't lose her. Do you see her anywhere? Oh, there she is. Yagami-san, look! She didn't go very far. Itokura. Kento, I'll take it from here. It's probably best that you don't get involved. Uh, yeah, yeah. No problem. He probably didn't want to get involved. He's like, uh. いとくら。なれない運動なんてするもんじゃないね。お前が。中には走っただけでもう無理。話を聞いてくれるか。冊子のいいあなたのことだから。物質の状態を見ただけで、私たちが何を話すつもりか。わかったんでしょ。でも現
元文化祭実行委員の生徒たちを飛行に導いた張本人マンな嘘そ,そんなのありえない可能性を排除していった結果残された可能性はそれがどんなにありえなさそうに思えても真実に他ならないそうでしょ天沢先輩 What happens now? 探偵なら真実に向き合わなくっちゃどうしてあなたミスケンで楽しそうに過ごしてたでしょそれなのに I'm like I'm kind of sad I'm not even angry I'm just sad どうしてお前はあんなこと最初はずっと家にいて暇だったからなんとなく裏サイトを立ち上げてみただけそしたらいろんなやつが書き込みするようになってね親や教師に不満を持っているやつ楽して稼ぎたいやつムカつくクラスメートにバレずに復讐したいやつ私がそんな連中の望みを叶えるプランや手段を提供してあげてたらなんか評判になっちゃってねいつの間にかプロフェッサーなんて呼ばれるようになってたんだ元文化祭実行委員のメンバーを飛行に走らせるよう計画したのは復讐が目的復讐<笑>まあそうかな嫌なやつらを排除すれば学校に戻りやすいって思ったから、ね、<笑> oh my God. だけどもうどうでもいいそんなことはあお待たせしてしまいましたねプロフェッサーあコガコガ遅いよ申し訳ありません She's their boss! She summoned Koga here to protect her? どうやら時間稼ぎをしていたようです、ね。Oh, man. Koga, 落ちたな。女子高生に宝なきゃいけないほど、金に困ってるのかよ。She's a little gang leader, yeah! Oh, my God! やれやれあなたという人は、見た目や年齢でしか、物事を判断できないようです、ね。Unless she's working for them? 何彼女のハッカーとしての能力はすでに一級のものだ。Ah. 我々はその能力に惚れ込んだからこそ、付き従っているのです。女子高生だからどうのこうのという次元では考えていない。まあ、狭い価値観でしか考えられない。あなたのような人間には理解できないかもしれませんがね。そもそも。ハッカーの世界に年齢など関係ありません。例えばアメリカでは、国防省が自身の公式サイトをハッキングした高校生を表彰さえしています。暗号通貨の詐欺によって、16歳の少年が数千万円を稼いだ事件もありましたね。南米では、犯罪組織が子供たちにハッカーとしての訓練を施しているなんて話も聞きます。それほどまでに。ハッカーとしての才能は若くして花開くものなのです。我々はそんな彼女の才能を支援し、神経品同盟をさらに大きく飛躍させていくつもりです。He wants to get even bigger than the Kahin gang was originally? お前、何を企んでる飛行の支援なんかで満足するはずがねえとは思ってたが。うんダークウェブにブラックマーケットを作るそれが我々の次なる計画賭博サイトや裏サイトをそのための下準備に過ぎぬブラックマーケットだと私の会社古賀商会では数年前より重機などのアンダーグラウンドな商品を扱ってきました Come to think of it, he's been selling guns to the public in Kamurocho too. This is a game that's not 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 a game that's
ダークウェブは秘匿性と匿名性が極めて高いにもかかわらず日本にはまだ決定的なプラットフォーマーがいないのですつまりダークウェブは我々のような裏社会の人間にとってのブルーオーシャンと言えるのですビトクラこれはお前が望んだことなのか古賀みたいな半グレと手を組むことが羽振ったり羽振られたりもうそういうのにはうんざりなのあの日からずっとそう思っていた。Just like I thought. She's still trying to cope with what happened in the Cultural Festival Committee. I mean, you hate clicks and stuff like that that happen to you so much that you're gonna become a, a criminal that makes like dark web black markets? I mean, God! Uh, so she's just completely disenchanted with life. Mm. Yeah. It's even, even worse in the criminal underworld, they'll kill you. Oh, man. <laughs> Mm. どうぞ。冷えますから。うん。ここが待たせたね。行こう。仕事進めるから。糸倉待てよ。本当にいいのか。そいつらと一緒に行っちまって。もう決めたことだから。ヤガミさん。I あなたの隣にいる女の子がどうなっても知りませんよ。あ。そう。そうやってそこを動かないことです。追いかけてくるようなら、その子の人に一緒にしてあながくことでしょう。ダメ。ひとくらさん。She's gonna be like a crime boss when she gets older. <laughs> God. <sighs> like, I don't know if this is terrible to say, but it's like half badass and half terrible. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yes, girl boss. <laughs> be a criminal underworld boss but at the same time like she's a kid and she shouldn't be turning to a life of crime because she got snubbed by some other dumb students you know like she has so many skills that she could use to be in like the normal like you know working world and not turn to a life of crime um but you know she feels so jaded about i guess society that she wants to leave it and go to the criminal underground, but like, it's not gonna be any better. She's gonna be even more worried about getting on the wrong side of somebody because instead of just being snubbed, she's gonna get killed, so. The only unbadass thing about it is she's a kid. Right, she's just a kid. Like, <laughs> like when I see a character who's like, you know, an adult and they're like a crime boss and they're like really cool, okay, like then I'm like, oh cool, like they're a cool character, they're badass, but like, she's a teenager. She shouldn't be getting into this stuff. Wait until you're older. <laughs> Not really, but you know, it's just like, no, she should have a childhood and she should have, you know, her her teenagehood and, and all of that and those experiences without having to be freaking making a dark website. Nagami-san, what should we do? She wasn't shivering. She was trembling. Eh? What? Oh, no. What are you talking about, Yagami-san? Never mind. Our next move is to track down Itokura. I think she's scared because she's in too deep. She feels like it's too late. 
We should track her down and figure out how to rescue her. Would it really be a rescue, though? She rather seemed to prefer leaving with them. We just have to find her and talk her out of it somehow. Messing around with that gang is only going to end poorly for her. Yeah. Plus, we can't let a member of the MRC go down the wrong path that easy. That would make me one crappy advisor, wouldn't it? Oh. You're absolutely right. And one more thing. You've forgotten an important point, Amasawa. A truly artful detective can solve incidents before they even occur, right? <laughs> you got me there. We sure have our work cut out for us, though. Let's head back to the club room. I want to talk out our next steps. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Only reason I like Koga is because of his banger boss music from the last game. Talk about turning other kids into delinquents. She was arguably the worst. Yeah, she was in all the different crimes. All of them. I don't want to be mean, but it was a freaking high school festival. This is just high school. This reads like some Heather's BS motive. Right? Ugh. Like, um... You know, it... I'm sure what she went through was terrible. But, like she said, it's clickiness, right? And we all outgrow that. And she did say clickiness can happen in, like, adult life, but you don't have to give in to it. You don't have to feed into it. You can be someone who rejects that, or, you know, you make your friends and you don't worry about what other people think. Like, you know, all of that. But it's just kind of, like, it's high school BS, and it's people who never outgrew high school BS as well. Like, if you continue that behavior into adulthood, it's kind of just, like, not getting out of that phase of, I'm gonna make a click and anyone who's not like perfectly fitting in our group is gonna be crap. You know what I mean? Like just be a normal human being <laughs> and care about other people. But anyway, like I, I get that she's frustrated and she thinks it's gonna be life forever, but it's not. It, it's it's high school stuff. Yeah. She could be the next uh, Soong Hee, but she's just a high school. See, that's what I was thinking. Like Soong Hee technically is in the criminal underworld and she's a badass, but <laughs> This is a kid that doesn't have to go down that path, so. Where is he, Tokura? We're not sure. We'll go from the Neo Kahin gang, took her. What? She got kidnapped? Oh, no. Itokura san seemed to want to go with him. Wait, what? So, what do we do now? We get to work. Suka. Wow. I mean, I get it, but how? Mm. Where do you think she went? Do you know anything about the Neo Kahin gang having a hideout? Yeah. Back when I was investigating the robotics club, I found a spot that seemed like it was theirs. Unfortunately, they've probably moved on from there by now. Oh. Daga. Luckily, we do have one lead to work with. I actually memorized the license plate of the car that took Hitokura. <laughs> what? You did? That's crazy. Yeah, it was basically out of instinct, although the police would be the only ones who could do something with it. Mm. Should we file a report then? That you saw a miner get kidnapped? Yeah. No. That should be our last resort. Getting the police involved guarantees Itokara ends up in some serious trouble in the end. So we're trying to avoid that. That's true. Eto. Should we split up and search the town ourselves? We know they have to be based somewhere in Ijincho. Yeah. Oh, that would take forever with just the three of us. Ijincho's freaking huge. <sighs> Good point. Mm -hmm. Wait. Maybe we could actually make it work. Eh? Huh? If we have the car's license plate number, there's one way that we might be able to track it down. We could ask Tsukumo! We could ask all my Seirio contacts. We could try to contact Itokara. Tsukumo? I know this super hacker. I know this super hacker, Tsukumo. Masaka. Oh, right, Tsukumo san. Let's ask him to help out. Maybe he can hack into some of the surveillance cameras the police have around town. That, yeah. If he can do that, maybe he can find the car for us. Mm. That seems unlikely even for someone as talented as him. We're talking about a government authority here. Mm. You've got a point. I don't want to see him getting in any trouble either. So, our contacts? Besides, I read somewhere that the police only install their cameras along the major roads and pedestrian areas. Since they don't cover the alleys or other discrete areas across town, I doubt their surveillance system would do us much good at this point. Perhaps it's worth looking into as a last resort, but I think it'd be better to consider other options. Mm. Maybe you're right. Okay, so I guess the Seirio contacts? Oh right, there is one thing that might work. Okay! We ask everyone to lend us a hand. <laughs> Who's everyone, exactly? Everyone. 
All the students I've met here at Say Rio, of course. The Jin Show is definitely too big for the three of us, but not for dozens of people. The numbers are on our side that way. Oh, now there's a way to go about it. Yeah, since we know the car's license plate, we won't have to worry about false IDs either. This could actually work. Uh. Yeah, it's time to work together and crack it for good. Dang. Are we going to tell them what it's for, though? Like, explain the situation or just like, Hey, can you keep an eye out for a car? I bet the biker gang in particular would be pretty useful for this, actually. I looked at that option. I was like, maybe it's that. But then I saw Tsukumo and I was like, oh, Tsukumo can do anything. So then I picked him. But apparently not. Oh my god. Hey guys. Oh. ああ。何か事情があるんですね。なあ、いとくら伊藤倉琴子を除いてな。で、その伊藤倉琴子は文化祭実行委員長だった。ああ、そういえば。あんたはプロフェッサーってやつをずっと追ってた。今回の件も伊藤関係してんのか。Well, <笑> 今回の事態に責任がないとは言えない。そうか。よくわからねえが。伊藤倉のことをずっと引っかかってた。いつか責任を取らなきゃならねえ。そう思ってた。僕もずっと気になってた。ロボブでも結局。うんうん。That's why we're in this mess. ユレブイみたいなもんや。そもそも、くじ引きで選ばれただけやし。押切君だって最初は実行委員に顔出してたでしょ。ぼかしたけ食べて帰ってたけど。うん、せやったか。そうだよ。それに琴子に対して態度
Yagami-san, I'll ask the Karate Club guys and my, uh, girlfriends to help- Girlfriends? Multiple? Uh. Yeah, but make sure you don't spill all the details of the case to them, okay? Mm. Sure, no problem. I don't trust you. I don't trust him! Yagami-san. Mini Ryuji. Yagami-san, while you two focus your efforts on the crowd support, I'll attempt a different approach. Mm -hmm. What would that be? I'm going to reach out to Itokara-san's parents. They might be able to talk some sense into her. I see. Although it'll be bad if they get the police involved. Well, I'll make sure to observe her parents' reactions as I speak with them. I'll only proceed if they appear to understand the situation. Alright, that sounds good. Well then. So what are you doing, Yagami? Alright, I think it's time to check out that Neo Kahin gang hideout I found when I was helping the robotics club. Pretty sure it was in the building on East Tsurukame Highway with the Yamakawa to Towels sign. I can't believe Yagami has to depend on a bunch of high schoolers! I know, right? Let's see. It's letting me save. Okay, y'all. Um, I've gone about an hour over time, and I know we're probably near the end of this, but I'm feeling pretty tired. And I think I'd rather see the end of this when I'm a little more high energy. Um, so we'll just pick this back up next time I play Lost Judgment at the very beginning of stream. We'll finish it up, and then we'll continue working on all of the side content we can do uh, after finishing all the school stories. Uh, well, now we're back at nighttime. Right, we are, but it's temporary. It will be daytime again once I finish this. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end it there. So let's go ahead and... Uh switch over here yeah that's gonna be it for me today uh we went a little overtime like i said but it's fine uh we will finish that up next time i stream this which should be next tuesday and next week should be pretty much all lost judgment i feel like um i don't think i'll finish bug snacks though so if anything it'll be half judgment half bug snacks at least until i finish the game um, but yeah, we're gonna be focusing more on Lost Judgment after this week, so look forward to more of this and me getting more stuff done more quickly in this game and eventually getting to the finale. Um, we don't need to do any plot anymore, I just need to finish the MRC stuff and then, um, we should be good to do all the other side content. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, we're gonna be back tomorrow at 8.30pm Central Time with some Kirby Dream Buffet. Rubo should be joining me. We should be doing some co-op stuff. Maybe playing some more people. I don't know yet. Um, it's really up in the air. But either way, we're going to play it tomorrow and just see what it's like. And if we want to, we can play it again another time. But that is going to be something we think about later. Anyways, uh, there is my social media. I'm most active on Twitter at the moment. We also have a Discord open to anybody if you'd like to join. And there are the raid messages. But... Either way, I'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully, for Sim Kirby. And I hope you'll have a great night. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate all of y'all's support. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye!